Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. Welcome to your nightmare. It is officially spooky season. Yes. Let's go. We are here and we are starting off our live stream with our first costume, which is Wanda and Vision. Of no, I'm <laughs> we are your infamous Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. Yes. Which members, you probably already have seen that um, you have a Freddy and Jason. So members, spam the Freddy and Jason emotes. Let's see it. Hopefully everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful night. It is our, officially our scary streaming Sundays. Mm -hmm. Now this is kind of weird because my headphones do not fit over these, over this hat. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to like listen and uh, work through it. Also, these contact lenses hurt. So <laughs> we're, we're, fashion is killer. <laughs> Pretty hurts. And Cody, Cody is gonna do his best to talk through the mask. Yes. So we're going to talk through, talk, talk through, uh, talk through it all, it, pretty, pretty well. You will see me adjusting the mask because it it rides up. But unlike Jason, Cody, I'm beautiful underneath. Beautiful underneath. Uh, not saying that Jason looks butt ass ugly, but I'm just saying. Um, let's read some of the chat cody can you do the honors because yes. i cannot do it with this <laughs> we have jacob young saying cody your your laugh through the mask is so funny <laughs> uh lots of love for the costumes honestly sergio has been working on this for hours so give it up to him this is like look i actually like burned myself i actually like went in and you know just you know surreal like <laughs> Love the costumes. Oh, uh, too, too much to much bear. bear. Oh my God, hold on. Oh, too much to bear just freaking like coming in for the kill again. She's an icon, she's a legend, mm -hmm. and she is the moment. Like forever, we kind of have to just associate that with you all the time. Too much to bear is too much. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you are the best. Thank you so much for those gifted subs. Uh, welcome all the new members. Erica Ashley says, we'll understand it if the context got to come out. Yeah, it might come out during the break. Um, but girl, this uh, this latex on my face is not going anywhere. Uh, Dark Phoenix says, I'm in Canada and we are celebrating Thanksgiving today, which means I'm oh. ignoring my family for y'all. Oh, you know what? As you should. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm so happy that you're here. Wait, wait hold on. You talk, you talk says he's screenshotting this. He needs to pose. All right. I think I think that's a pose. I think we 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 got it. I don't know. Yes. All right. As you guys have may have guessed, we are going to be every Sunday putting on a costume in honor of spooky season. Mm -hmm. And today we decided to do Freddy versus Jason, but in this uh in this particular way, we are uh lovers. Jason and Freddy actually hook up. So. It's a different kind of Freddy versus Jason. Yeah, I'm literally like, oh, wait, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. Woo! It's getting hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, too much to bear. I don't remember these killer things. Like, Ooh, stop it. Cody says we yassified Freddy versus Jason. I try to put some sparkle. I put some eyeshadow on for mm -hmm. for Freddy. I try to do it. Like, listen, we're we're the gay versions of Freddy and Jason. We're gonna we're gonna haunt your dreams, and Cody is going to use that. He knows what to do with it. He knows what. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yes. So today we're do being Freddy versus Jason, and next week is gonna be a different costume, but we won't tell you what. Um, and members, if you're a member, this week we're gonna have a members only live stream. Mm -hmm. And that is just gonna be with me because Cody is gonna be away uh, for this week. And it's we're gonna be creepy. And you're going to watch me uh, practice some makeup for a costume that we're gonna do down the line. So yeah. you guys kind of get an in uh, about that. And it could also be kind of crazy. 
Uh, Deja says, can Cody see without his glasses? I have contacts in right now. I really don't ever wear contacts anymore, but I have some just for cases like this. <laughs> um, I just found the channel from King Static. I love you guys. Oh, we love you too. Thank you. Thank you so much. And welcome. Also, Jamesy Cat, you said, I love the outfits. Thank you so much, Jamesy Cat. Ooh, wait, hold on. This, hold on. This music in the background. Let's pull it up a little bit. Let's put it up a little bit. Wait, can you go back a little bit? I, I kind of want to hear it. Yeah, go back just a little bit. It's, it's, no, it's that one right there. Yeah, 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 that's the stuff. Yes. <laughs> All right, wait, no, no, we gotta go a little further. All right, Dan Johnson, you guys have become my friends over the last couple of months. Thank you for getting me through some difficult times. Aww. Dan Johnson, that means so much to us. And honestly, really does. the main reason why we start this channel. Yeah, uh, we, we just want to make sure that, you know, we can help bring some of the fun that we have when we're watching movies together out to all y'all. So we're so happy that you are all here. Also, can y'all hear Cody? I just want to make sure. <laughs> if not, he might have to take the mask off. I know I can't I can't ah. snap Cody though I do see that next uh said a uh, fr fruity Craig fruity Kruger and fruity the 13th mm -hmm. see I couldn't even say that out loud fruity the 13th fruity the 13th can't hear me at all I mean for some no, people that's, no. a, that's a dream uh, no. Austin Austin trolls us though <laughs> always with the audio Oh my God, you took a, no, leave the mask on, daddy. Uh, look at you. And Cody is 6'2". I'm sure the real Jason is like 6'7", like in person, but Cody's tall. Mm -hmm. So he's going to like hunt you down. Mm -hmm. Johnny Cahill says, hi, Cody and Sergio. Love the cosplays. Yes, hope all is well. Happy early Halloween. Best time of holiday of the year. Yes make sure to join us every sunday right here mm -hmm. because we're going to offer you a different costume um yeah you talk says if hayden is here it means the appointment didn't go well <laughs> oh shit! oh no hayden listen we're always wishing for the best for hayden you know get that dick get that dick jacob young is this what they mean when they say mask for mask <laughs> there's nothing mask about us guys i'm sorry Hey guys, hey guys, think Cody is fine. The first episode of season three of Chucky got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Ooh. Oh shit, nice. This is the first one for the Chucky series, so this could have a season four. Yeah, I mean, I'm on board for more seasons, more horror, more good times. Mm -hmm. I love it. I still think that the fourth season is going to be in space. I mean, one of them has to be at some point. I think so. So, agenda for today. Um, we are going to be getting in the spooky season uh, mood, and we're going to be watching some spooky stories, getting ourselves kind of spooktified for October. But we're also going to be playing uh, Resident Evil uh, in a little bit. So expect Resident Evil within like an hour, maybe. Um, and then we're going to play it up until the end. Uh, but we might end early because Cody needs to wake up really early tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, that's going to be another one. Dizzy says, Jason went to space, so I don't see why Chucky can't. Exactly. He can meet him up there. Maybe he's still up there. V Curious says, is there going to be a watch along for a Patreon for Totally Killer? Absolutely. Um, since Totally Killer was kind of like a quick turnaround for us, since it just came out on Friday, we are going to be making sure you guys get the watch along for uh, for both Totally Killer and VHS 85, yep. which we also saw. VHS 85 is going to be coming out Friday, Friday the 13th. 
Oh, in honor of your day. Yes. This is this is uh, Jason getting pumped for Friday the Thirteenth. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's get to some spooky stories. Why? Why don't we? We're 20, 20, 22 minutes in. All right. If you guys have seen your next, you should check it out. We love your next. We do love your next. I can't even say Beth. Beth and Better means me says Freddy the Thirteenth. Ooh, all right. High five. This ah! is this is like giving like middle schoolers getting their braces stuck together when they make out. Uh, uh, uh. Chucky X David would be all over that. Yes. All right, so let's go. Oh no. What? We forgot to put bourbon in his sweatshirt. <gasps> oh no. It's a Halloween stream. What are we gonna do? Is that a GG doll in the back? No, that is Sam, Sam from uh, Trick or Treat. Do you wanna go get it? Yeah. Where is it? I put it where his with his stuff is. Like with his toys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're for back scratches. They're, um... Well, hopefully everyone is having a good, good day. Oh, he has a sweatshirt. Yes, he has a little Halloween sweatshirt that we got for him. Hopefully he settles down after we put it on him. Don't let bourbon flop. Y'all are going to outshine him. I know. Listen, we, it's been a, been a hectic Sunday. Sam was on the last video. Yes. Or at least like our glow up Sam in the back has been out uh, for Totally Killer. Do you guys think there should be a, a trick or treat too? I do. I would love a trick or treat too. Sam needs to come back for sure. If Sam is not in it, I'm going to be upset. But um, I would I would like a trick or treat too. Do some treasure says, hey, love you guys. And I'm sending some custom cups to the PO box soon. Oh my God, thank you so much. Again, you guys don't have to, but that's awesome. I mean, we love our our anything cup related. We have a lot of different like mugs and anything that we could use for the reactions would be great. Um, so new some treasure, if you want us to open it on the live stream, let us know, we will do it. Tarika Hall says, did you guys see the trailer for No One Will Save You? Uh, yes, and we reacted to it. Uh, it's not on the channel. It's going to be for patrons. Wait, what? I saw it, y'all. I saw the sweater. Uh-oh. You got to be more discreet, babe. I was Ooh, semi like revealed. <laughs> What's the worst horror film you both have seen so far this year and the best? Oh, um, uh. Autumn says, whoever gifted me a membership is a perfect, sweet a little angel. Thank you so much. Too much to bear. He's, he's, he's your person. Definitely any scary movie theme you would like or just surprise you guys. I say surprise us. All good? <laughs> oh, when it comes to the worst horror films that we've seen. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever like hated a horror movie. I think I've always found some sort of redeeming things about them. Have you guys watched the Ash vs. Evil Dead series? I think we've only seen like one or two episodes, but that was before we went to go see, like reacted to the first two movies. Did you like Insidious 5? Uh, we've only seen Insidious 1 through 3, so we still have to react to 4 and 5. So we don't, we'll, we'll let you know how it goes. Also, I have a big ass head and I'm so surprised that this hat is staying on. All right, so let's get to this 
I'm going to have to take this off, guys, for a second. I can do it. You can do it? All right. So, go to reactions. Yes. And bourbon's not there. <laughs> and go to uh, three. Oh, go to go to three haunting true. Yeah. And full screen it. And then go to down down. Window capture this one. Double click. There we go. All right, so let's get to oh yeah, and pull it up but just a little bit more. Yep. Okay. All right, hold on. Uh, Alexander Hendry, I would love to recommend you Llama's Arts channel. Sure. Okay. We'll take a look. Too much to bear. I don't remember Jason wearing shorts. Uh oh, they saw your leg. They saw your leg. Oh no. Listen, this flannel shirt is hot, y'all. We it's surprising that we have pants on in general. Yeah. Ziri, <laughs> hi, just popping out. I love your costume, Sergio and Cody, kicking that Freddy versus Station, y'all. Yes. Wait, you were supposed to like Freddy versus Jason. Um uh, Jason versus Pants. <laughs> <laughs> they have spooky stories. Uh Bourbon will be fashionably be late. Uh Monster says, take it off. All right. Uh, hey, Cody has nice legs. I I have to say. Um Crazy Make T says, remember to like this stream, guys. Please like this stream. We would really appreciate that. All right, so let's get to going. Let's get into these October scary stories by Mr. Nightmare, who we love. Right. Please go check out his channel if you do not already. For eight years. Before getting into the stories, I just want to announce that I partnered with Makeshift to create a limited edition plush toy based on the ghost character that was my channel, Lo the perfect collectible to be removed. These are made with really high quality. That's so cute. I actually would like that. The town I grew up in was pretty country, to put it lightly. Nothing but farms, crops, abandoned churches, and ugly, worn-down houses. Everyone around us was pretty broke. Property taxes were like $1,000 a year, if that. With that came a lot of sketchball characters. Hell, even our neighbor was a weirdo. Nice, but weird. We weren't well off ourselves, but things at least got a little better for my family when my siblings and I were old enough to work too. When this app Hot or Not was still a thing many years back, I matched this girl Kelly who I started seeing for a while. We matched in late summertime and Too we were seeing each other like through September already. <laughs> Honestly, I was thinking October. the same. Or like Kelly and PA. I were looking yeah, for a like nice cheap date yeah. to go on. Really, there wasn't much to do around there. We've gone on hikes, explored, and gotten food. Not much else going on. So we took a new route in the car this day, somewhere neither of us had been, just to find something. We found this little restaurant sitting in a random parking lot on the side of the road. It had outdoor seating, so we went there. Oh, it was a warm, cloudy captions? day when we arrived oh, and yeah. got seated at a table outside the restaurant. We were there for 45 minutes to an hour, and after leaving, it grew noticeably foggy out. We continued to drive down this route we'd never been down before. A really desolate road with just open fields and farmland on either side, with occasional patches of trees and woods. Then we passed something different. It was a sign for a pumpkin patch. Ooh. It was a very cheaply made sign. It wasn't some big billboard or anything like that. It was a wooden picket sign that said pumpkin picking this way. And but an that arrow sounds pointing positive. To the right. right. That sounds like if you ever want to kidnap me, do that. I was going to yes. say, a, a like a homemade pumpkin patch sign, Sergio would be all over that I'd be shit. like, oh, let's go. I want to go. Because, listen, that's tradition. I'm sorry. I want to go to a freaking pumpkin patch. If there's a hayride, I'll ride it. Um, I also would love apple cider. Uh, what's the, what's the apple cider donuts? Yes. Oh, my God. Have myself a pumpkin that I'm going to carve. And also, because Cody likes to bake things, he'll probably get some smaller pumpkins to bake some some pumpkin pie, mm -hmm. uh, which he's actually doing right now, right? Yes, I actually just yesterday uh, took some pumpkins, roasted them, got out all the pumpkin puree, got it all ready. It's in the freezer, so I can make pumpkin cupcakes and pumpkin pie later this and year. And Cody 
make some killer cream cheese filling, icing, frosting, whatever it's called, pumpkin spice cupcakes. They're good. And they're yeah. so fucking addicting. If we could, we could, if he could make them and just deliver them to y'all, that would be amazing because everybody needs to try his cupcakes. Anyways, all I'm saying is you're going to kill me because I would want to go to that pumpkin patch. Yeah, pumpkin patch in the fog that I'd have to drag you out of there. <laughs> well, this fog is fucking crazy. It's but it's axed, ah, little, it's adding to the spookiness of everything. Behind the sign was a dirt driveway cutting through the field. Wait, through Mia the says fog, drop the recipe, bestie. Oh no, those those are just for me. <laughs> it's kind of like Cody's, like, um, what's it called? Secret recipe? It's also because each year I forget which recipe I used. And so I have to find it. And maybe end. that's for the best. <laughs> maybe that's for the best. Cody, uh, with an IE, says, oh my God, I made pumpkin spice chocolate chip cookies with marshmallows on top. Oh, that sounds <gasps> really good. That uh, does. And Alexander says, I love spooky corn ma field mazes. I agree. Driveway led to. So a spur of the moment decision. We both agreed we wanted to check it out because why not? I drove off the road down the driveway. So say, like, passed the house into this back area, which was covered by trees in two directions. The left side and the far back side. Tucked between the house and woods was this big pumpkin patch. It was a genuine pumpkin farm. And we saw at least 200 pumpkins scattered all over the place. And that was just what the fog allowed us to see. We parked next to this old I mean, so of far, truck. So the good. only other vehicle mm -hmm. visible on the property. This sounds like like a pumpkin head origin story though. Oh what? A pumpkin head origin story. Yeah. Yeah, it does sound like it. But also, okay, so my, my first red flag is that there's no one around. Yeah. Although that just means free pumpkins, right? Yeah, let's take them. <laughs> this is really robbed this place. Take the take the oh. Yutaka says, Mr. Nightmare could get this backside. Ooh. Oh, Yutaka, you know, like, you're just, like, listening to this it, with headphones in. You have night by yourself. Maybe your hands trickle down. Oh, no. Anyways, All we're, right, we're going to keep going. Play. We're, we're going to keep going. We noticed an older couple sitting on the back deck of the house. As we got out, the two of them got up and greeted us. I said we're here for the pumpkin picking. Yeah. The old woman said with a smile, welcome. Pick anything you'd like. I asked her how, how about much she would you? for a no. pumpkin, and the old woman said it's free. We were surprised. The fog was acting as a sort of barrier, so we couldn't clearly see the two. It was a little creepy, but I could still tell that it looked like the old man was smiling at Kelly. His smile was very gummy. It was kind of gross. Okay, We both hold said on. thank you. Maybe he has some trouble with gum disease. Like, no. A lot of the pumpkins were on the smaller side, or mushy and just not very attractive. The ground was also kind of wet from the fog, I guess, and some of the pumpkins felt wet and muddy, too. It was hard to find a really nice one, but eventually we did find one. I picked up this big, healthy-looking pumpkin. It was heavy. I brought it over to the back deck where the old couple just was. They weren't there anymore. <gasps> I asked Kelly if we should just leave. She I said think probably. we should. We really free felt pumpkins. like we were clear to leave since we already thanked the couple and they made it clear they were free. So we got back in the car and I started doing a three-point turn on the dirt driveway to leave when we heard someone yelling outside. We both got startled and turned to face the house where we saw a middle-aged man in a cap yelling, hey, stop. I lowered the window and he put his face through the window and yelled, what the hell are y'all doing? We're I'm calling 911. girl. I said, what did we do? And he said, put that pumpkin back right now. Are Kelly like and I talking over pumpkins? each other both tried to explain to the man that the older couple told us to take whatever we wanted. I assumed they were his parents. The man said, what older couple? What are you talking about? What? They replied, are your parents also here? He said, I ain't got no parents. Kelly and oh I God. both equally was confused never born. looked at each other. I said, sir, there was an older couple sitting on your back deck 10 minutes ago, and they told us to take whatever we wanted. The man said, there ain't no older couples here. He asked where the pumpkin is. I told him in the back. I unlocked the door and he grabbed the pumpkin. He said if we ever came back here, he'd shoot us. And then he Jesus. spit out and walked back to his house. I drove us out of there. Bye, Austin. We were as Bye, confused Austin. as could be. We considered the idea that maybe it was a joke, but that would be a real sick joke. I made a joke saying, what if there were ghosts? And Kelly said, stop, clearly freaked out. But then I got the chills myself as I thought about what I just said. There was silence in the car for a few seconds. 
and I know we both pondered that idea. Out of curiosity, one day my two siblings went to that pumpkin farm to go pumpkin picking. They bought a pumpkin from the guy we saw, and they probed him a bit, asking about the farm and if the man lived there with anyone. The man said he lives there alone. This was unsettling to hear. It truly to this day doesn't make a lick of sense. Could the man have been lying about the older couple being there? I don't know. Possibly. Yeah, I don't know lying. either. I feel like... The scarier question is, at least, what if he wasn't lying and he truly does live you alone? you didn't get hurt or anything. Yeah. Those you know? people? What if the fog is like they, they went to the Upside Down for a little bit? Yeah. Story 2 by Jack J. It was late October when I woke up to one of my best friends, Connor, hitting me up. Just masturbating. Oh, oh, my God. It was a Saturday afternoon, and I was in high school at the time, so I spent most of my weekends with friends. Connor's parents were out of town for the weekend, and he was home alone with one of his older sisters, whom I'll just call Chantel. She was supposedly watching him the entire weekend. With that information, I knew he was just asking me to come over and party. Again, I didn't have any I'm work responsibilities a, a to worry about at the time, so I agreed to the idea and headed over to his house. When I got to his house, we played some Call of Duty on his family room's couch for a few hours. Oh yeah! Talking about school, sports, girls, and whatever else we cared about at the time. Eventually, he brought up the idea of going to a Halloween party in his neighborhood that a bunch of people from our high school were going to. At first, I was a bit hesitant of the idea, but after some convincing, I was down to go. I'm not introverted or anything. I just wasn't feeling like partying that night, but Connor was dying to go. So I get trying that to be though. A good friend, mm -hmm. I Sometimes I just want to be inside I asked him and watch about movies. getting some kind yeah. of costume, and he had two security staff shirts that we could just throw on and use as the bare minimum of a Halloween costume. <laughs> we continued to play on Xbox for a few more hours until 10:30 rolled around. Connor ran upstairs to Chantel's room, telling her we were going as if she cared. Then we threw on our shirts and headed out. After a quick five-minute walk. We pulled up to a Halloween decorated house where we could hear the music blaring from inside. We walked past the decorations and through the door where we were slammed with the loud music we heard outside. The place was packed with maybe 70 other high school kids raving and just Damn. talking in groups throughout the house. I've never been to like a Halloween party, party like this. Yeah, me neither. Minutes I later, would I'd already lost it. Connor as I was pulled aside by Lino, one of my baseball teammates Lino. who I'd hardly seen at all that year. He sat me down on a couch in a circle with some of my other friends and teammates. We continued to talk for a couple hours, this laughing at like dumb memories brought music. up in conversation and oh, partaking yeah. in activities that normally go down at parties. At this point in the night, I was feeling tired and completely out of it. I knew it was time for me to go home and get some rest for the night. Not the stranger I things. I looked through house. the party for I know, like, was it? Was I, I mean, it was a Halloween party. As I accidentally interrupted his conversation, I asked him if it was cool for me to go back to his house and sleep. He agreed and said he was going to stay for a little longer. But the girl he was talking to asked if I could go get some drinks from the basement. I agreed to do so after realizing I completely interrupted their deep conversation. It was the least I could do. It didn't take me long to find the basement. Oh, as no. I opened the door and okay. headed down the dimly lit stairs. I'm not going to other people's houses. I stumbled basement. down the nope. last few steps and fell into the fridge. <gasps> as I opened it, I was greeted by a man's voice behind me. What? Who tried quietly saying boo. I jumped and threw my Is hands like, up, facing the direction down I heard here? the voice from. There was a tall, 35-year-old looking man wearing a black cloak costume and standing behind me with a grin on his face, making a, like a surprise ghost face gesture costume? with his hands. What the hell was that for? I yelled with a clear slur in my speech. The guy what the hell was that for? The party host's cousin. I was so out of it, I didn't even question why he was in a dark basement by himself. And there was a massive party hey, going he's on He's just waiting for a hookup. He's yeah. literally the waiting for like tried anybody. Making conversation. But I told him I needed to get my friend his drink and leave the party. I'm honestly pretty open and chatty to strangers when I'm out of it like that. But even at that moment, I didn't like his vibe, and I tried everything I could to get away. He blurted, nice meeting you, as I turned around, walking up the creaking stairs. I told my friend goodbye and left the party. The lights and Halloween decorations on each house in the neighborhood lit up the street as I walked back to Connor's house. It didn't really matter, in though, the because rain. the walk was literally five minutes at most. I reflected on the weird exchange I had with that man in the basement as I walked, and I couldn't shake the odd vibes he gave off. The more I thought about it, the weirder it became in my head. I eventually got to Connor's house. It was completely dark, and Chantel's car was gone from the driveway, meaning I was home alone. I walked into the dark, eerie house and didn't bother turning on some lights, just headed straight first, to the basement first, to sleep. Mm -mm. 
dumb thing. I walked down there and passed out on the couch. I lay like a baby for maybe 15 minutes until I heard a crashing noise upstairs. Oh, God. It woke me right up. I tried listening for anything else, but I heard nothing. I thought I was hearing things, then tried getting back to sleep. I don't know how much time passed from when I first heard the crash, but I could hear the floorboards above me creaking like someone was walking on them. Oh, no. I thought Lock I was the door, Chantel, wherever you are. But it sounded way too heavy to be either of them. I pulled out my phone and texted Connor, asking if he was home yet. I stared at the ceiling, trying to listen. The door to the basement opened. <gasps> I could hear a person walk down the staircase. I peeked around the bend of the room to see the stair opening. I saw the man I saw earlier at the party, <gasps> of standing course. right there, of quietly, course. illuminated by the stair light. So he I just tried followed not to make any home. noise, praying that the man would just walk away. A few moments passed by before he randomly turned and quietly walked out of the basement, closing the door. I picked up my phone and dialed 911. Like, what the fuck? The this guy's just here. I gave them everything they needed, and I waited patiently in the basement for them to show up. I tried opening the windows down there, but they were all sealed shut. I had no escape through the basement door that the man was standing by earlier. The cops eventually came, and they arrested the man because he was still there. He was what? found hiding underneath Chantel's bed. She had gotten home and was getting ready for bed, and was moments from getting into the bed when she heard the cops knocking on the front door downstairs. Oh my God. I have no idea what his intention was, but clearly he followed me home. The whole encounter has really confused me. I'm just They're glad things us. played out the way they did. Yeah. Oddly enough, the cops were able to review neighboring house's cameras, and they saw the man following me home. But then he lost me after taking the corner into the cul-de-sac. He ended up lurking on Chantel, watching her get out of her car and walk into the house. Then he snuck around to the backyard and broke in through the back door. Always be alert of your surroundings. Damn straight. Yeah. You're not gonna catch me not being alert. Oh my God, that is so scary. And honestly, like, you're not gonna tell Chantel that there Look, might be someone guy, in the house? This guy's here. Something happened. <laughs> Damn. It was okay, the we're middle traveling. of October. The leaves were just starting to change to that beautiful mix of orange and yellow. My wife Courtney and I are a gay couple. We've been married for two years now. Yes. We wanted to take advantage of the fall foliage and go to the Catskill Mountains in New York. We booked an Airbnb by Overlook Mountain, a popular hiking destination. We're avid hikers, so we go all over the country to explore national parks and famous hiking destinations. This was our third time going to Catskill, New York. The owner of the Airbnb was an adorable looking sweet woman who was definitely in her 50s or 60s. Out of respect, there's a fucking Airbnb story. Yeah. Oh, no. Kathy was very easy to work with and very responsive. She had the key to the little house hidden in a code locked mailbox, and she okay. gave me the code. That's not bad. The inside was a very rustic and cabiny type of feel with wooden walls and floors, but oh, bright colored cute. rugs mm -hmm. to cover the wood floors. It was well kept and nice, spacious enough for two people. Outside was woods in all directions. There was a shed converted to a little clubhouse outside, with a pool table and dartboard and a bunch of things hung on the walls. We drove to the base of the Overlook Mountain Trail, and there were some people around. Not many, but a few. Now, this is something we, we would want to do. Foot, yeah. This is actually like a trip that we down. would do. Eventually, we sat on a big rock overlooking an amazing cliff view, <gasps> just admiring for a while. That is pretty. Eventually, it kind of reminds we heard me of the Adirondacks. crunching a leaf oh, behind yeah. us. We turned around and saw a woman by herself, leaning on a tree. She was like 55 or something. She was clearly looking Hiking at us Sean, until we thank turned you. and saw her. Thank you. And she awkwardly looked away. I would have otherwise said hi, but she made it weird. We just uh, ignored it until randomly like we heard her say hi. Weirdo. Get the fuck out of so here. So we turned again and saw she was looking at us. We said hi back. Then she asked where we're from. From here, we just got into a seemingly normal conversation with her. She said her name was Melinda, and she was from the area. She asked where we're staying, offering her knowledge of the area to suggest places to check out. I told her right up the road at an Airbnb. She suggested some places to go, and then the conversation kind of died off from there. Courtney and I said, well, it was nice meeting you, as we now started descending the trail back towards the car. She's going to follow you home. noticed the Melinda lady was now Melinda also heading lady. down as well. Melinda lady's going to come after you, distance, bro. Not Bruh. within earshot. We found a spot to rest on the way down for a minute, and we noticed Melinda seemed to stop too at the same time. She was still out of earshot. This was weird. 
We felt like she was following us, so we decided to just stay put and wait her out, see if she'd move. After a while, she finally did continue making her way down, past us. She looked at us and smiled and said okay as she walked past us. We waited till she was out of sight before we continued hiking down. We got back to the parking area a while later, and from there we went straight back to the Airbnb right up the road. We were exhausted, so we took a nap. Then we went out to eat at this place called Garden Cafe, which was highly rated. After that, it was pitch black out, so we went back to the Airbnb with plans to just cuddle up and watch movies. Oh, I we had love a long that. day of hiking, so we were going to sleep good. There was only a TV in the living room, but it was set up to have Netflix and everything. So we found a good movie to watch and put it on. We were so tired that we started drifting off to sleep halfway through the movie. I noticed Courtney was completely knocked out, and I was following suit, when suddenly, uh, I was immediately no. snapped back awake to the sound of knocks at the door. Mm -mm. We were in the middle of the woods. Knocks at the door were a huge concern. Yeah. Nobody should be Can here. Can you call somebody? Just be like, hey, there girl. There was no peephole in the door. Oh, I couldn't God. check who was there. All Just the blinds turned were closed, the lights off. and I wasn't going to dare peeking out of one of them. Oh, God. I shook Courtney awake and told her someone's at the door. I mean, my first instinct is to, like... Turn the lights off. Be like, no one's home. I, I'm not going to say no one's home, but I just, like, not answer it. Well, you know what I'm thinking? I was like, remember that Airbnb we stayed at for vacation a couple summers ago? Mm -hmm. We were up in Vermont, like, that tiny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. See, that, because, okay, we went to an Airbnb, and it literally was in the middle of nowhere. The only people that we had access to were the owners, which were, like, what, like, a two-minute walk to their house? Mm -hmm. Um they were right there. So if we heard knocking, it was either them or a bear. It would, I mean, I just, I don't even know what we would have done because it was like all windows downstairs. So there was nowhere to hide. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's nowhere to hide. The only thing we would have to keep is upstairs. But knowing us and horror movies, I think we would just run out the back. Yeah, probably. Just get away. Just run to their house. And then we get to their house, and they're dead. And they're <gasps> like, no! And now we're in a horror movie, and we have to survive. <laughs> I muted the TV, and we waited for a second set of knocks that came only seconds later. We both agreed there's no shot we were opening the door. Dan Johnson, they found a good movie on Netflix? Okay. <laughs> Already debunking this story. It was still early, like 9 o'clock, so I texted Kathy asking if she was at the door. It was then a knock at the window, and a woman's oh. voice on the other side, asking is someone in there. Is it Kathy? Courtney and I were now freaked out. I'd say we were in a panic. Knocking on a stranger's window is not a normal thing somebody does. Uh-uh. That's What fair. happened next was even more disturbing. We heard the person trying to lift open the window. <gasps> Thankfully, it was locked. Thankfully. Kathy was calling me now. I showed Courtney, and she said maybe it is her outside. That's why she's calling. I picked up in a low voice. And Kathy on the other end told me she was at home, and she asked who was outside. When we I told don't her know. What's happening, she sounded confused and concerned. None okay, of her friends or up, relatives Kathy. would go to that this house. She said, "She told us don't open the door." And we took her advice. This is a whole different cabin. After hanging up, there were now knocks on another window, and the voice called, "I need help. Please let me in." Oh. No. Knew better than to fall for this. Yeah. Something bad would happen if we let them in. We started to realize it could have been that weird lady from the hiking trail. Like, what if she followed us back to the Airbnb? We honestly wouldn't have even noticed. I went to the bedroom. And it was completely <gasps> pitch black. And Did I ever so delicately go? moved the blind up just a crack to peek outside. There was a man walking past the window. He didn't notice me. I went back to Courtney to tell her that there were Call multiple the people out there. Yeah, this they've been like we called taking too long. I okay. gave them the address and stayed on the line. There were a few more knocks at the door, but we never answered. The people outside eventually gave up, I believe, because the knocks and yells stopped. The police took a while to get there, but when they did, we felt a lot better. The officers were very nice, and they stayed with us while we figured out what we wanted to do. I called Kathy again and explained what happened and why we didn't feel safe staying there tonight anymore. She was completely understanding. We still paid for that night, but the rest of the stay was canceled. Well, I mean, and the we officers still stayed with there, us I guess. while we packed yeah. our things and loaded the car. One of them led us in his car to the nearest motel, where we stayed for the night. Imagine they knocked the on the door there, too. Oh, my God. We drove oh God. home the next day because, honestly, we just didn't want to be in the area after that. 
We think this was some <laughs> kind of group that was looking for easy targets to abduct. It may have been. Rally reviews just got here watching Sergio and Cody reacting costumes is driving me up. I love it. And our channel says, I love the. Love the masks. I yeah, she they they mentioned on nice makeup, Sergio. I just wanted to make sure that <gasps> oh, yeah. people on the channel. This is this is all makeup. Sergio did yeah. this all himself this afternoon. This makeup. I was lazy and put a mask on. No, you weren't lazy. I did ask Cody if he wanted some on, and he said No. He'd rather just have the mask <laughs> on. And as some kind of scout to gain their trust. And they saw two young women by themselves, so they tried to target us for future hikes. We've started to bring pepper spray with us, just mm -mm. as a form of self-defense. Mm -hmm. Nope, no, 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 no. All right, um, go to this one right here. This one? Yeah, but I think I started already. So just click it and go to back. This one's a little bit animated, so let's see how it goes. And this is by Dr. No Sleep, so make sure to go uh, subscribe to them. Also, Bourbon is not at his bed, obviously, but he decided to sleep right at our feet. So he's down here. Yeah. So he was sleeping on his bed, and then I woke him up to put his uh, costume on. Yeah. And then he came over here and fell asleep at our feet. Oh, Christian, why did they call the woman weird? Because she was old. Yutaka and I are offended. <gasps> oh, shit. Nightmare. Hello, Bruce. Bruce. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean,. Old people. I mean, I guess if you're like old and in the woods by yourself, yeah, I think I'll be a little scared. <laughs> I'd be a little. Mm. Older people have just as much right to enjoy the great outdoors as everyone. Yeah, else. but there's a difference between being like, "Ha, ah, isn't this great? So great to meet you. Bye." But then there's also the like old people who are just like. Hello. Just like in Friday the Thirteenth, that old man who's like, "Don't go there in the woods." Yeah. Anyways. Eric Ashley says, Bourbon said, I don't model for free. That's that is right. for sure. That is for sure. He is a dog that really, like, gives us shady looks whenever you put anything on him. Anyways, Dr. No Sleep, I will say, I just want to tell y'all, uh, we don't know what these stories are ahead of time. Uh, just because this is going to be first time reaction for us. Uh, but if in case there are some heavy stories, because... Creepy stories means like some fucked up shit happens. Uh -huh. uh, trigger warning. So just proceed with caution. Viewer discretion is advised. I've always wanted to say that. Yeah. Viewer discretion is advised. Um, but Dr. No Sleep does the same thing as Mr. Nightmare, but he has it animated, which is really cool. Um, so go follow him because uh, I've also been hearing a lot about Dr. Uh, no Sleep. Dr. No Sleep. Breaking into the house is easy. I don't even need to be quiet. Not really. This neighborhood loves Halloween, and it's in full swing right now. I can hear occasional screams from the house across the street. They have one of those motion sensor decorations of a witch that pops up from a cauldron to scare kids as they pass. The house next door is blasting one of That's the Halloween That's something we're gonna do, I'm sure. Jamie Lee Cook. Wait, a little like haunted house? Well, even just having a little decoration up front that like has a motion sensor, so it pops up. Oh yes, because you don't know, because we live in an apartment, and there's so many lawn things at Spirit Halloween uh, of like big giant horror movie things that I want. So when we have a house of our own, uh, we are definitely going to be doing that. The screams in terror as Michael Myers walks menacingly after her. Oh, that Even is really there were no lights uh -huh. on. I walked up to the front door of the house just a few minutes ago, dressed in my skeleton costume. I rang the doorbell and knocked, listened hard. You rang the doorbell Nothing. and knocked. No sign of movement, no television on. It's kind of cute. He's like the oh. woman who lives here is gone for the night. So I circled the block and then came back around, headed to the back door. I make sure my gloves are on nice and tight before I put an elbow through the pane of glass nearest the doorknob. I unlock the door and move inside like a wraith. Upstairs. What's a wraith? I find a wraith is like a like a box of It's like a kind of scary ghost. Oh. I am like not loving getting the perspective of like someone breaking in. That's so creepy. Yeah. Wait, so did someone like write this in? Like Please call the police. 
of expensive jewelry. I dump it all into my backpack. I'll remove the stones and sell them separately. The metal I'll have melted down and sold. A car door slams outside. Stepping over to a window, I part the curtains and look down. The woman is walking from her car to the front door. She looks like she's just been to a Halloween party, dressed in a skimpy Lara Croft outfit. Not the skimpy. She disappears from sight as she moves up the porch steps. Just as I'm about to turn around to get the hell out of Dodge, I see a dark figure appear from around the hedge <gasps> at the edge of the property, Ghostface. running full tilt toward the porch. <gasps> I assume it's a man, but I can't be sure. Whoever they are, they're wearing black robes and one of those screen masks. I move out of the woman's bedroom, looking for a place to hide until this I can sneak out This is a twist I was not expecting. Yeah. A loud thump sounds from downstairs. <gasps> I wonder if it's the door getting knocked open. The thump is followed quickly by a woman's scream. My heart rate is suddenly jacked. Is she being attacked? I move over to the top of the stairs. The sounds of a struggle reach my ears. Get away! The woman screams. Footsteps thud on the hardwood floor. All right, Laura Croft, the come on. Appears below is, me. You're Laura Heading Croft. Up the you can do this. Stairs toward the landing. Then, the <gasps> black-robed figure appears behind her. The person in the scream mask grunts. The sound telling what me the it's fuck a man. A growl. He it grabs her creepy. ankle, causing oh, her to fall face first on the landing. He grabs her arms and pins them behind her back with one hand. Then he starts pulling at her clothing. My blood boils. I may be a thief but I'm not lacking in empathy. What I'm taking from the woman can be replaced by an insurance company. What he's trying to take from her can never be put right. She's still whimpering, It fighting. sounds like Jigsaw he uh, kind of thing. The way he's holding her down with only one hand. This is I the Lost to a Screen movie table, that we don't know about. Grabbing a heavy brass lamp, yanking the plug out of the wall as I head back to the stairs. I take them three at a time, reaching the landing in seconds. The man's shrouded head moves slightly as I bring the lamp back, readying it for the blow. Not the lamp. He looks up at me just before the base of it connects with his masked face. He topples off her, and I hit him again with the lamp. Oh, and shit. Again. The woman is screaming. She scrambles like, away from her. Yeah. The guy goes limp after the third hit. I can't see how bad the damage is. But judging Watch by it the feel like of the hits, her husband and it's, it's like, just like a thing someone thing. like you know life threatening probably. This ghost face what are you like doing? The woman screams. Down. I straighten and turn to look at her. What kind of question is that for someone who just kept her from getting raped? What the f did you do? Oh my god! She's crying now. The voice. I she can't. crawls back over to the masked figure. Miles, Miles, that's my fucking boyfriend. I, we were I knew playing. It. it wasn't real. I my stomach it. cramps. I suddenly realize I'm no longer wearing the plastic skull mask I had on earlier. I took it off and put it in my backpack as soon as I saw the house was You're empty. You dumbass. What the f are you doing in my house? The woman says. She pulls okay, the, the guy's voice scream mask kinda off. kind of sounds like it's the guy it trying to do good. a woman voice. I don't think the guy is breathing anymore. The woman makes a choking sound. She moves down the stairs. I step after her, still holding the lamp in my hand. It's okay, she says her voice shaking. She doesn't look at me. It was an accident. It's okay. Where are you going? I ask. It's okay. I'll tell them. It was all a misunderstanding. Is he dead? Wait, I say. My mind is racing 500 miles a minute. The few options I have repeat in my head, gaming out the possibilities. I know the same thing is going through her head. She stops at the bottom of the stairs. Five feet separate us. She looks up at me, and then she runs. <gasps> I chase her. She makes it through the front door bear. before I can get to Come her. Back here. But I lunge out and hit her in the back of the head oh, with the lamp, boy, just as she's about to scream for help. Now you're going to jail. Yeah. She goes well, down you hard, going to smacking before, her face but... into the wooden porch. <gasps> I look out at the road. A couple of kids are heading out from a house across the street. Girl. They're oblivious, looking at the candy in their bags and laughing to each other. They disappear from view. There's a lull in traffic. I bring down the lamp <gasps> on the woman's head what? four more times in quick succession. I leave her there. What the fuck? People will think it's a Halloween decoration. What? At least for a while. Weren't you just like, I'm not, I'm only stealing jewelry. Sure the dead. 
It takes another couple of whacks. He's got a oh. thick skull. After putting my mask back on, I head out of the house through the back door, thinking this is what I get when I try to do a good deed. Anyway, I still have a few more houses to hit. What the fuck? Halloween is the best night of the year for me. Also, it turns out that most of you guys who watch me aren't actually subscribed. So That's if you lie. like the content and want to support, it makes me feel nothing. Oh, okay, girl. Okay, we went to two away. things. Two ways. To, okay, pause. Standing next to pause. the... That was good. That was a good story. I, the lots of twists and turns. Yeah. I was not expecting her to get full on murdered. Yeah, me I neither. did not, and I did not expect that. Um, what did y'all feel in the chat? Yeah, chat. What did you think of that story? Is it a possible, possible uh, new uh, scream movie from the point of view of the ghost face? Jacob is like, so he went from saving her to bashing her head in. Wow. Yeah. Not good. Not good. I loved it. It was good. Yeah. I agree. I like it. I'm going to give it for stories. I'm going to do a five ratings. So out of five. Okay. Um, I'm going to give it a three out of five. I'm going to give it, let's say two and a half. Two and a half. All right. Let's see. This one's called The Last Halloween. The bed makes me feel nothing. I reach my left hand out right. toward the like like standing. Story two, the last Halloween. Standing next to the bed makes me feel nothing. I reach my left what? hand out toward the hem of the purple and green blanket, but I can't bear to touch it. Why? What's Part of me it? wants to see what's underneath. What? Even though I already know. What? The two person shaped bulges stay covered. I pull my left hand back. In my right hand, I clutch a kitchen knife. Oh, what? No. I didn't dare turn on the light when I came into the room. But the blinking orange lights from outside the window provide enough illumination to see by. I know the room well, anyway. I could navigate it in total darkness. There's no way I can oh my lift God, you're the blanket. Says, Is this George? No I, can lock. <laughs> I have to accept that. There Moving are too to many the window, George dupes out I in the world. Out onto the street. Halloween decorations wink and sway and grin vacantly. The orange pumpkin lights lining the roof above the window blink. Oh, look at the little ghost in the there tree. Is no you guys can't see it, the but street, there's a ghost in the Aside from orange, yellow, and brown leaves skittering along the asphalt and flapping in the gutters. I imagine one of the bodies on the bed behind me sitting up. The blanket <gasps> falling down wow! to reveal a haunted horrific face oh girl my throat thickens you got some moldy like night cream spinning around i see that neither body has moved i feel a deep sense of relief no i don't with like regret, that smile no I like that. quickly swallowed by sorrow who would you swallow moving down the stairs i wonder if i'm really here maybe this is what death is like so quiet no, and lonely. i don't think that's what it is <laughs> maybe i'm dead at 16 i don't even know it are you a ghost? I pause at the bottom of the stairs, lifting my left arm up and poking it with the kitchen knife. Oh! I wince, and the sharp point draws a bead of blood. Still here. The front door is wow, open. Wow, that's kind of crazy. And a few like, leaves have blown into the entryway. make it feel alive. They crunch under my shoes as I walk outside. All right, you're walking like you have a the pile of shit in your who pants. Live across the street have left their front door open too. Gale swallows, oh my God. I walk down the concrete path toward the street. It's bordered on both sides by a perfectly manicured Ooh, lawn dotted Halloween with creepy ghosts and flickering jack-o'-lanterns. Before crossing the street, I look both ways. Okay, something weird about me. Bourbon, look at him. He went over there. He's wearing a little pumpkin-y sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. What a cutie. Um, you just you guys just heard a um a sound effect of like someone going riffling through ba a bag. There's something that's so soothing about that. I love that sound. Really? I do. I do not. like just going through bags. Like it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. It's so nice. Like look. Lanterns. Before crossing I the street, that. I look both ways. Tell Bourbon you love of him. Of course. There's no traffic. Bourbon. No vehicles. The viewers love no you. People. The trick-or-treating like, is all That's done. Nice. Finished. Forever. 
The Thurmans have a scarecrow on their porch what swing. What is this? Like, what is, As I what stand is there, happening? looking at it, I, I sense know. a movement behind me. <gasps> looking back, I think I see a dark figure standing in my house's doorway. My heart thuds within my chest, and I force myself to close my eyes. Hunter <laughs> Tucker, what if the American Beauty paperback? <laughs> I, it's, I don't have a fascination of actual paperbacks. It's just the sound of it. Just the sound of the ruffling. Rustling? Rustling. Rustling. For a long moment. When I open them again, there's only a dim doorway. No this figure is like standing there. Halloween story brought I to you by 824. The in their living room, slumped on the couch. Their oldest son was two years younger than me. Was. His eyes are still open, staring blankly at the silent home. Is this like the zombie apocalypse? The younger one, Toby, is tucked between his father and mother. His face screwed up in fear, or pain, or both. Or both. I have no problem looking at them. Uh, I don't feel much of anything. That's a numbness. Not a good face. I don't like yeah. it. The other houses in the immediate area hold similar scenes freshly dead bodies. Some of them are gathered together, like the Thurmans. Some aren't. Like Uma Thurman? Delirium seems to take root. Are these like famous people? I wander people? down oh the middle God. of the street, looking at houses for signs of life. Surely, I'm not the only one left. Soon enough. Oh my I've God. Christian. Oh, hello, Marcus Lyrics. Christian, you just like blew my mind. This is like Inception. Wait till they find out that Bourbon does live streams with a human cam focused on them sleeping in bed. Oh my <gasps> God, that's creepy. That's creepy. That's how dogs take over the world. I think that he's just like going through, like re um, reliving the night that he killed like a bunch of people. I think that's what I think okay. is happening. I find myself nearing the center of our little village, our town, our community, whatever you want to call it. I hear the sound of footsteps coming from just around the bend, followed by the sound of a car door shutting. At the corner of a tall wooden fence topped with string lights of little ghosts, I peer toward the mansion there, the mansion at the center of town. There's a man moving around there, Rushing down the wide marble staircase to a blue Range Rover parked in the circular driveway. Okay. He carries several bags, making his journey cumbersome. I know his face well. The craggy contours of it are second only to the curves of my own face. But the expression there now is one I've... This could honestly be reenacted by the, the crew of the Horror Hour. Oh my the God. The main guy is George. This guy's Utaka. Uh, so the family before could be played by Liam. Never seen before. He's afraid. I've only ever seen him supremely confident, beaming with benevolence. He has many names. Ooh. Master, father, Master. divine one. Suddenly, divine one. the implications the of him moving around with that look on his face crashed down on me. He's the one that convinced us all we should leave. He's the one whose nonsense I've been listening to almost my what? entire life. He's the one who told all the parents to make sure the kids went first. He insisted that the veil was thinnest between worlds on Halloween. That Is we could like travel into the afterlife. Thing? Is it a Jonestown thing? <gasps> cult? It's a cult! We're doing cult shit! Life as gods. And after. All right, I gotta say. Something, some of the, some things that really horrify me in horror movies and just like real life, I guess. Um, one is home invasions. I, I hate home invasions. Mm -hmm. That actually does scare me. Two is cults. Cults scare me. And any movies regarding cults, it's just like I feel like you're trapped. There's just so many people overpowering you that believe in one thing and that's so scary to me yeah um also the idea that the whole like town is corrupt i know that's like too specific but like if you've seen texas chainsaw massacre um and you're like in a new place and you don't know anybody but then you realize that the whole town is corrupt the, the whole town is in on it and they're like going after you that's scary yeah after so many years of believing this bullshit, everyone in our little community took it as gospel i heard my parents talking about it a week ago I was supposed to be asleep, but I heard them talking, and they mentioned my name. 
Oh, yeah. They were discussing how they would get me to eat the poison candy before taking their own doses. Oh, my God. We would travel together into eternal life. Halloween was a great the time to do it, town? they said. Not only was it the time father had prophesied, but it would be easy to get kids to take the poison. What yeah, kid don't give Cody like a Reese's uh, pumpkin. But when the time came, That's poison, I fought my mom. He likes those. I told her I didn't want to die, that I didn't want her and my father to die, but she wasn't hearing it. So when she went to get my father, I switched out the candy bar with the poison <gasps> in it for one that I'd stashed away. Why couldn't you just I like, knew they would use my I mean, favorite candy. They were tricking him. When she came back with my father to make me eat it, I gobbled up the untainted candy. And I pretended to die. What? I didn't know what else to do. Acting. I was afraid. Terrified. At first I was afraid. I, I was, was petrified. petrified. Kept thinking I, I could, could never, never eat live? that candy oh, yeah. right by my side. All right. What's the learning next, Eric? But then I spent so many nights thinking, how'd you want me to eat that? But I'm fucked up. <laughs> and then I'll fuck you up again. Oh, now here goes. The Reese's goes. Okay. Eat that chocolate right now, bitch, because you ain't killing me. Let's go and... <laughs> I don't know. And until now, I thought it was pure cowardice. I regretted not eating the candy bar. I regretted missing out on the trip to eternal life. But now that I see the divine one and the fear on his face, I know Ooh, it wasn't he is, cowardice. He's like, now I know he's fucking John Wick. Like uh -huh. he's literally like going after people, being like, I'm fucking getting taking back. I'm taking back the, the town. With the meaning of true cowardice. I've seen cowardice incarnate. And its name is the Divine One. The Divine One. I looked down at the knife still in my right hand. <gasps> I had originally taken it to protect myself against anyone who might force me to eat poison. Don't do it, girl. But now, I know it has a different purpose. It has been prophesied. When the Divine One heads back into his mansion, I run up and hide beside the Range Rover, out of view. I listen as he hurries down the stairs again, huffing with his luggage. He's fat now. Oh. He's grown fat off the backs of the people in this community. Jesus. This cult. He shuts the Range you Rover's trunk and starts you, around toward the you, driver's girl. side. Do what you gotta do. I crouch. I remember the bulges of my parents' bodies, their death masks hidden by the blanket. I wanted to look, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. Yes, you're queen the Divine One sees me as he comes around the... Slay Queen, Hunty Mama, and Oop Daddy work. <laughs> Sorry. That <laughs> came... At a weird time. Welcome. Oh, no, Nina to Scream Queen. Yes, welcome. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The side of the vehicle. His eyes go wide just before I spring, lunging toward him, bleeding with the knife. <gasps> he gurgles and whines as he collapses against the Range Rover, clutching at the knife stuck in his neck. You have nothing to worry about if you're right, I say to him. You can live forever as a god. But if you're wrong, oh. looking into his eyes, I know he made it up. I can tell by the fear there, the regret, the shame. We're just watching he made this it guy die up. right now. Oh my For God. For what? Soon the world will know what happened here. Just another crazy suicide cult. But I'll tell the story. I'll try to make them understand. I'll prevent this from ever happening again. If I can. Damn. I did not expect that twist. That was nuts. Yeah, I thought he was, I mean, he's still like a killer, but I kind of like that ending where mm -hmm. he was like, he, he stabbed him and it was just like, if you're right, then I guess you have nothing to worry about. Ooh, that's a good line, like yeah. in like a revenge kind of way. Um, I hope he ended up saving the kids that were like going to be dead soon. I hope so. Um, I like that one. I'm going to give that a four out of five. I'm gonna give it a four out of five also. Plus, it it I really liked when he was walking around, he was describing Halloween, he was making it like he was setting the atmosphere yeah. of Halloween, which I really, really liked. Jacob Young, I'm just going to assume that the narrator is the killer for this one. <laughs> yes. Artist channel says, uh, Bourbon, I love you. Are these real events? Uh, I'm kind of questioning it too because I don't think so. Mr. Nightmare gets real stories, 
or like pe- real people that cu- put like uh, submit stories that of things that happened to them. Mm-hmm. Um, this one, I think they may have been just like made up. I think they're actual like story stories. I mean, I'm hoping that first one was made up. Yeah, because somebody called, like, someone catch that man. Sergio singing is a five out of five. Ooh, thank you. Thank That's you, true. Thank you. Four hits, kisses to bourbon. Aww. All right, ready? Yep. The magic of Halloween. Let's do this. Story three, the magic of Halloween. All right, the jack-o'-lantern hits <gasps> the parked car with a loud thud. I wince. Looking up at the dark house, sure that this kind of looks like the I know what you did last summer house. Ooh, it kind of does. You know, like the house where like uh, Ryan Philippine, uh, Felipe Philippine. Oh no, I'm gonna get red in the comments for pronouncing his name wrong. But I think that it looks like his house, except his house was all white. That lights will come on any second. Johnny, <laughs> who everyone calls Jolly, laughs cruelly at the mess he's made. Chucky. The hit dented the <laughs> car door. No, can't do come it. Come on, Jolly. I whisper, let's just go home. <laughs> jolly like ignores touching me. His junk? He's not really jolly. Not in the truest sense of the word. He's only happy when he's causing pain or discomfort to oh. others. I know this better than anyone. For reasons I'll never understand, my mom fell in love with his dad. <gasps> now we're brothers. stepbrothers. Hooray. There's a movie I walk about away that. from the house. But it's like There's the a path version. of destroyed pumpkins behind us. Along with smashed eggs on front doors, toilet paper snagged in trees, yeah, d- you're and talking, vandalized these definitely Halloween are, they're decorations. Definitely, uh, smashing. Where are you going, dipshit? Jolly calls out, running to catch up with. This is like the ultimate like stepbrother porn <laughs> that's out oh there. Oh my god! <laughs> with me, home. I say, I don't care if I get in trouble for leaving your side. I'll just tell them what you've been out here doing this whole time. Where is there an echo? Jolly grabs me by the cape and <gasps> yanks me oh. back. I'm wearing a Thor costume. I should have known better than to wear a costume a with a cape. It just makes things easier for Jolly. Phoenix Rising says I'm late, but hey, anything. love my bandwagon I'll voice. Stomp you, you little hey, Phoenix sh- Rising. His breath smells of half-digested candy and chewing tobacco. Ew. I don't know what a curb stomp is, but it <gasps> doesn't sound good. No, it's not good, girl. At 16, it's, it's actually kind Jolly of is four years older than me and a lot bigger. He's wearing black clothes and carrying a black backpack. Fine, I say, yanking my cape away from him. I won't tell. Let's just go home. Not yet, he says. <gasps> I want to hit the Delgado house first. Teach those fucking assholes a lesson. And- this is definitely the same guy just doing all these voices, which yeah. are, which is kind of funny. Um, Mister Mister No Sleep, if you want so if you want voice actors, I'll donate my voice. I will I will help you out and I'll, I'll make noises. Yeah, both of us will. They're like Delgado House. First, teach those uh, a lesson. I don't know what what the blank. You're word. my alibi. You know what that means? It means you're going to lie and say I was with you at the movies all night. Halloween double feature. At Wait, hold on. Close to home. Movies all night. Halloween. I didn't know there was an Old Hallows Eve two. There's two movies now that we have to react to. I thought Terrifier was like All Hallows Eve two. Well, no, Terrifier is Halloween. It's the original All Hallows Eve, and then I guess this pumpkin person is, because okay, there's like an anthology. It's, I think it's an anthology movie, and it's like centered around Terrifier. I'm not uh, Art the Clown. So he's like hopping around in these stories. He's kind of like the Sam. Huh. Um, but I guess they, they like switched him over to a pumpkin person for the next one. Oh, it seems like yeah, there's an All Hallows Eve too. Oh, yeah. We haven't seen either of them. So uh, maybe we'll watch them for the channel this month. Maybe. Maybe. Doggy cam is everything. It's like the soul cleanser to any hour. Yeah, I figured like you just watch Bourbon Sleep. Queen double feature. At least we're getting close to home. The Delgados live just one block over. Jolly has been feuding with their two sons for as long as I can remember. They're nice kids. At least, Are they they've nice always been kids? nice to me. It's probably why Jolly hates them. He likes to smash I out any the kind name of for Johnny. Yeah. I guess he wants like, everyone to be as sense. miserable as he is. He's now out of toilet paper and eggs, so we don't make many stops on the way. Although he does smash nearly every pumpkin he sees. 
I'd like to smash him one of these days. This is like oh. someone that Sam would go after. That that would be, but you heard it here first. He'd like to smash him one of these days. Oh God. He's upset. He's upset that it's his stepbrother now. He's like, fuck. Now what do I do? We walk up to the Delgado house, which is a nice two-story white house with dark blue trim. It has a big oak tree in the front yard. Halloween decorations hang from the massive branches. There are two lines of jack-o'-lanterns along the walkway leading. This is an idea that we're going to be doing for our, our um, wedding is uh, having jack-o'-lanterns down the aisle. Yeah. Uh, you know, when people walk down the aisle for the wedding, which will be fun. Up to the house. Surprisingly, Jolly ignores these. Well, what do we have here? He says, walking up to the porch and snagging a huge pumpkin. Do not it's smash. It's no jack-o'-lantern. It hasn't been carved. It's a sign. But it has something painted on the front in red letters. Do not smash. Jolly laughs his cruel <laughs> laugh again as he chucks the pumpkin against the concrete walkway. It cracks, but doesn't break apart. But Jolly hasn't noticed. He's been picking up the glowing jack-o'-lanterns and smashing them. I stand back, watching for cars on the road or for lights coming on in any of the houses. When I turn my head back towards Jolly's frenzy, I see the cracked pumpkin move. <gasps> At first, I think what? he must have bumped into it. Is there like he's a, nowhere near it. Like a rat in there Besides, or something? it's still moving. The dark crack widens and the pumpkin oh. breaks apart, revealing a mess of pumpkin guts. But oh, the guts are moving now too. Like a small, bumpy orange arm with black claws yes, on the four Sam. stubby fingers emerges from the mess, followed by another arm. What the fuck? Then a head comes out. Oh, shaking like a dog trying to get dry, throwing off slimy pumpkin guts. The head looks like I a mean, small pumpkin, but it has eyes and a mouth that glow with poison green light. The rest of its body emerges as the creature crawls free of the wreckage. Oh. It moves on all fours, it its legs shorter Why than its arms, it like but thicker. Thighs for days. The whole thing oh looks like it could be made out of pumpkin parts, but it moves with the fluidity of a cat. Its glowing eyes sweep over me. It's jack-o'-lantern mouth stuck in an evil grin. J jolly I J -j 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 jolly He pays no mind. The creature looks over at him. He it's a, literally this. He pays no mind. The creature This creature is so creature fucking funny. Mm -hmm. It's like I feel like it's like seconds away from twerking. Like it's just about oh to like God, twerk. Yes. It'll like Give me one margarita, I'm going to open my legs. Give me two margaritas, I'm going to give you some head. Give me four, three margaritas, I'm going to put it in my put. Give me four margaritas and a, uh, uh, oh. Looks over at him. He's just finishing with the jack-o'-lanterns, turning his attention toward the decorations hanging from the oak tree. Is it just going to grow? I shout. What the hell is it? Is There's someone coming. Get eaten. Look, I say, pointing toward the creature, which is stalking slowly toward him. Jolly sees it and laughs. What the hell is this? What? The cat dressed up for Halloween? Are you not He takes two steps toward nope. it and tries to kick the creature, but it grabs onto his oh. leg. Jolly screams. What the f***? He says, jumping around and kicking his foot. The creature's claws must be sinking into his Just flesh through his already. black pants. Oh. The thing scrambles up his leg and moves up under his sweatshirt. Oh. All while Jolly beats at it and screams. I don't see what the thing does but I can guess as blood spews out from oh. under the hem of his sweatshirt. Oh, it's Suddenly, eating ass right the now. the bulge in his sweatshirt goes flat. Hold up, what? The energy has gone out of Jolly. He Is coughs up blood him? and clutches his stomach area. His eyes are oh. dull with immense pain. He stumbles around while I watch, speechless. Then he slumps against the oak tree's trunk and stops moving. I knew one day Jolly would go too far. I knew he would come across someone who wouldn't take his crap lying down. Yeah, a pumpkin But I could have never imagined this. Movement from the Delgado house catches my eye. I look up to one of the second floor windows to see the two teenage brothers looking out. They both wave at me. I wave back. <laughs> then I turn right. and head for home. Hey guys. Thinking about that creature, curled up and sleeping in so Jolly's chest cavity. You're just gonna leave the dead body Jolly outside I doubt head? it will be there in the morning. It's just one of those things. The magic of Halloween.
I know just what I'll tell my mom and my stepdad when I get home. These I'll tell missing. them that Jolly ditched me, so I went to the movies. A Halloween double feature. Spooky Ooky. Damn. All right. Well, that one was fucking nuts. And yes, I do agree with the chat. It was kind of thirsty. It was like very horny. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like if you didn't have the visuals, you can literally just come up with like the demon pumpkin actually was just like a, a grinder host who was like dressed up as a pumpkin yeah. and came out and just like devoured him. Yeah, too much diversity says, yikes forever. I agree. Yikes forever, <laughs> yes. Um, he didn't get a Delgado sandwich for Halloween. Oh, my God. Um, all right, so I am going to take these contacts off because this one in particular. Who wants to see me? Who wants to see me take off my contacts? Oh, my God, my... not me. Not me. We'll do it. We'll do it off stream. Uh, oh, my God. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, we will be back. We're going to go on a break, and then uh, we'll be back and playing Resident Evil. Yeah. Let's see how fucking far we get.
All right, y'all, here we go. Yes, we are alive. I I did not poke my eye out. Search so you missing more than that if he can bleed with it. I don't know how Freddy does it. Do we ever think about Freddy Krueger's dick? <laughs> is, that a, is that a topic of, of discussion? No? Just me? All right. Cody's here. Personally, I always assume that Freddy's dick burnt off. Oh, yeah. It's, he's got a burnt off dick. He just has a hole there. What? Just a fucking hole? You know. Oh, my God. Do you think they have, like, Freddy Krueger and Jason, like, dildos? Oh, my God. It exists. It oh, has my to. God. <gasps> that would be fucking insane. Also, Cody does have his. Yes. I have it, but I was I didn't want to have to keep pulling it down. You know what I feel you know what I feel that Freddy Krueger has is one of those like crazy dicks. It's like um just like a schlong. Like I feel like if you look up Freddy Krueger dick right now, you'll see like like fantasy dick. Tears dead. You know how? So what I was meaning before is that like you know how like I don't know I don't know if you've seen it but I've seen Shrek dick like Shrek's picture and he's just like oh, having a schlong. Um, I feel like it's the same thing for Freddy. Why is this so small on our end? I don't think we like did anything. Babe, I'm. I have You're the right. controller. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was just trying to help. Graphics? Yeah, it'll be in graphics. Um, there. There we go. Nice. Can you hand me your water? Oh. We are being prepared. I have my little wristband just so I don't get nauseous. I have my ginger ale. And I took my Dramamine, which means I'm going to have a good night's sleep tonight. <laughs> Eternal says, hey, guys, I've got to know your channel a few weeks ago when you start Saw movie reactions. You guys are amazing. It's a Saw reaction for Saw 3. It's a reaction for Saw 3D on its way. Sending love from Brazil. Well, thank you so much, Eternal, and thank you so much for checking us out. Hopefully, you can check out all our reactions that yeah. we, we have on, on deck. Um, Saw is going to come out based on our schedule within the next two weeks. We have a few things coming out first, but Saul will be coming out in October. Um, however, there's a big however, depending on when Saw X slash Saw 10 comes out, we may push it or we may not. Um, but hopefully we can get seven out before 10. Also, contacts are out but i do have other contacts because i totally forgot that we didn't take a picture together um so i'm gonna put other contacts in my eyes again and just fucking destroy my eyesight bridge goes in the chat bridge co bridge co says yes also happy birthday to bridget because it's her birthday this week happy birthday oh, now we sung bridget her birthday song on our other live stream, but we were also like tipsy in that one. <laughs> we um, should we sing it again? No. <laughs> everyone gets everyone gets one. Everybody gets one. Uh, but yes, uh, Bridget celebrated her birthday. Is it today? I thought it was. No, it was midnight it was yesterday. yesterday. So it's today. So it's still her birthday. I mean, I feel like like Bridget gets a birthday weekend. Birthday weekend, yes, it's every day. Cody looks super cute without his glasses. Oh, thank you. I used to. I used to wear contacts all the time, but y'all, contacts are expensive. So. Oh, Bridget's celebrating the big three O. We have a heart that's covering it, so all I see is the big uh, zero. So. <laughs> oh, and it is today. Awesome. Okay, good, good. All right. In your honor, we will strip naked. No, I'm Whoa. kidding. <laughs> Whoa, no, that's um, that's that's not our YouTube stream. That's a different one. Wait, I, I said continue, and 
I don't know where that's leading me. You have to do the the, the whole mom fight again. No. Oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. We like we like saved and something happened. Oh, or we were about to go do something. We were about to go do something and I oh, forgot no. what that is. You know, we should take notes. Britchka says her, her her one wish, how did you know? <laughs> yes. Tonight on a very special episode of OnlyFans. I wonder what our channel would be called if it was on OnlyFans. Oh, check our inventory. Did we The Bandwagon The Bandwagon Dick? Dick Wagon? The dick, the, wagon. the dick wagon. Okay, yes. Oh no, the horror bang oh, wagon. Oh yeah, that How does make sense. Forget? That that makes sense. The horror bang wagon. Bang. I can't even say and I haven't even had alcohol. What the fuck is wrong with me? Um, okay, we got a burner. We, we got, got a uh, M337 oh, we shotgun. We were gonna meet somebody. We were gonna meet somebody. But we were supposed to arm. grab something. Remember we were like, oh, okay, well next time. Or like pick up a VHS well, you, or something. Can you check our journal? Oh, was it the head? Oh, yeah. Okay, what does that say? There we go. The pig is waiting for you in the dissection room, bitch. Okay, first of all, you don't have to call George that. Like, literally, just say George. Don't get to that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Abramacab says you had to meet Lucas. Oh, yeah. Where the fuck is that, bruh? Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, are you here? Are you here? Well, we're <gasps> going to go back and try to find some more things. What? Oh, that's wild. It kind of looked like it was a rave. Welcome to paradise. Well, uh, what's that song? Welcome down to the Reading of City where the grass is green and oh. the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me oh, oh. Welcome to my nightmare. Bridgeco says, I was jealous how quickly Cody defeated Daddy. That took us like two hours. Cody is on a different level, honestly. I'm, I'm very... Oh, wait, no. I was like, wait a minute. Do you mean our Cody? I think he meant your Cody. Oh, well, I, I mean... Think Honestly, <laughs> I, I don't even know how that happened because I was just so like angrily smashing all the buttons trying to. You know what I just realized that without your Jason mask, you're just wearing a nice shirt. Yeah. And I'm literally in like burn marks <laughs> like, and a Freddy, Freddy costume. I guess we go back inside. I do remember us getting red for not switching out the shotgun. Do we want to switch out the shotgun? No, because we don't have enough things to do the thing anyway. Maybe we go meet him in the household. It's in the dissection room, wherever the dissection room is. Do we want to check our trusty map? Cubbyhole says, oh my God, Sergio, you scared me, LL. I'm glad I read the comments. That could he beat you up? And I was like, oh, okay, it's Freddy. <gasps> Oh, cubby holes. Yep, he scratched me up. I can't believe where's you my, think I'm even capable of such well, a thing. Hold on, before we talk about domestic violence, where's <laughs> <laughs> where is our map? How do we get to that? Oh, I truly do not know. <clears throat> so we need to find the serum ingredients. Find the deputy's body in the dissection. Get the serum uh, and then find the deputy's body in the dissection. Where you lost last saw Daddy Jack. When was that? It's been forever, honestly. I guess upstairs. Oh yeah, isn't it through the scorpion door? I thought I heard a, y a yelp. I don't like this. There we go. Oh, do we not have any rounds? Do we have like found? Can you, um, 
Because I thought we had some shotgun shells. Maybe not. Oh, well, maybe we just have. Um, well, we did need to use a lot of it for. That's true. We have the we have the gun rounds though. Let's check our inventory. Maybe we can make some. Oh, that's right. The grenade launcher. Ooh, shit. Well, we don't need that right now, I don't think. I don't think so either. Scroll down. Okay, yeah, we... Oh, yeah, that does make sense that it would be here. Yeah, don't we go through that door? Girl, my eyes are feeling so free from those contact lenses. Now, those are super old contact lenses, and I have some more coming in the mail this week, I'm hoping, um, for our next costume that we're going to do next weekend. And next weekend, I'm hoping to get Cody in makeup. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no, we don't have the... Um You don't have the snake key yet. Do we should we get the snake key? Is that the goal? Cubby holes, uh Sam from Trick or Treat is in between us. Turn left. Uh no. So keep going keep going around. No. Um I think it's like is it oh no, that's the door we came in. Shit. How do we get to the do we go through that door? Cause there's supposed to be a shortcut to it, but Let's run through here before more of those things come together. Yeah, I don't like. <gasps> what the fuck, Grandma? Are you sure we can't shoot Grandma? We can't even aim at her. Oh, let's try to shiver with a knife. What can I? Oh, we can't attack her. We can't at uh, do anything. Oh, fuck! Oh, that was our last one! Shit. All right. Sorry. I was pressing buttons. I was pressing buttons. All right. Through the door. Through the fire. Through the... Oh, yeah. This is where we're going. I just want to make sure there's nothing like... I wish they, like, every room, like, refilled. The game won't let you hurt grandma. God. I know. Party. Ah! Oh, oh my god! What the fuck is this? What in the fuck? Okay, it's is it still alive? I think it's dead. Okay. How do you re how do you reload again? Uh, press square. Yeah. What the fuck? You came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Girl, uh, don't do that to us. <sighs> Manners. You know what would be really helpful right now? Do they always do that? Do they just like fucking pop out of nowhere? What do you say? I said, you know what would be helpful right now? First aid. Yeah. 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 Do you think it's in here? Uh, yeah, let's try it. We just go in here, like, a, a cut, cut scene starts. Man, I like that. At least it's like, it looks like we just, it's just like how we left it. No, nothing. Was it, or did we take the health that was back in the corner? We probably did. In here? No, it was, it was, yeah, back through there. It was like on the... Look at you. Should we take it? Uh, no, I feel like we should be more hurt. To the fire. To the wind. Hello? I just want to check, just in case there's like... Wait, wait, wait. Oh. All right. Let's look at the sign. 
prove you're a real man. Stick your hand down this pig's ah, throat. No. Ew. I don't like that you closed on your own. Okay. Ew. Oh, this is. Uh, this. I don't even know George. how this would. Speaking of George. Oh, <gasps> Cody. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, hey. Is that oh, the, the snake key? Yeah. I feel like we're not prepared, though. I really need ammo. That pretty little thing will help you find the two key cards you're gonna need to join the party we're having over here. Oh, they are you having a party. Burn your way, Ethan. All right. Oh, Jay Tyler's here. Hey, Jay. Jay. Oh no. I hear I oh, know, no. I know, I know, I know. Oh, oh no. no! There's one behind us! Fuck, 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 how can I run away? Chat, does the flamethrower hurt these things? Oh shit! I'm about to flame throw these asses. Oh, shotgun works best. Awesome. Uh, great. One that we do not have anything. I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna use this. But are we safe in here? Jacob says, uh, if this helps, you can check your map. And if a room is reddish, you still need to find things. But if it's blue, you found everything you can in that room. Oh, but how unless do we get they, the map? Unless they only implement it in the in the um, RE2 remake. Oh, hold up, what's back here? No, it's the same room, but. Is it? But the oh, monsters yeah, went away. Nice. They probably come back and try to go that way. Oh, this makes me nervous. I think I need to just kill them. Flamethrower takes a lot of fuel on them, and we don't have a lot of fuel left. Fuck. We literally don't have a lot of ammo, and I have like three of them that I have to destroy. I believe in you. You can do this. What? Map is the middle button for the... No, it wouldn't be in the options. It should be like the like this big middle button. Oh, I see. I got it. It's the other button. You can do it. You got this. You just run past them. Was the key just to like run away from them? I guess so. No way. That was way too easy. Oh, you had to go and say that out loud. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sergio panic crouching and sending me. Listen, I was duck walking. <laughs> if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna fucking die on a serve. Mm -hmm. Cubby holes. Loved your total, totally killer uh, reaction, by the way. Oh, uh, thank you so much. We had a fucking blast with that movie. They will return. Oh God. All right. Well, let's at least. Guilty. How you said that is so scary. They will return. They will <gasps> return. I don't know if Gun that helps powder. you. Okay. All right. Where is it? Is it this one? Uh, no, it's that one. Yeah. The good news is that once we get up to the second floor, um, should I just book it? Yeah, just book it. Run. Um, Which way? Okay, uh, turn left. <laughs> ah! <laughs> now nah, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. I'm running. Oh no! Oh shit! You bitch! You bitch! <laughs> Fucking bitch, you fucking No 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 Oh no oh no oh no oh we we're about to die Oh 
Oh, fuck. Right, fuck you. To, <laughs> and <heal>. your mama. <laughs> Uh, what a fucking weirdo. All right. So, um, what I was going to say. Should we save? Yeah. Where do we go? Um, go down to number five. <coughs> save there. That was fucking fun. <laughs> Did we read this already? Yeah, we did. Um, so we can use the snake key to unlock one or two snake doors. Okay. Uh, in this house. Maybe there's more ammo. And we can't do nothing with this? Add the gunpowder to our inventory so that we can make more bullets in case... No. Add it from here back to our inventory. In case we find more stuff, we can make bullets. We have some psycho simulants. So we use that? Oh, yeah. We probably... Uh, do not like <laughs> you literally you stopped immediately all right turn right i'm like expecting should i go through here yeah oh fuck i'm gonna have to defeat them Oh, fuck! Yeah, we're going to have to... Maybe we can use the... Oh, my no! God! No! They're everywhere! We need to plan. We need to plan. We need to plan. Okay. Just run upstairs. Well, now I'm outside. What's the plan? I don't know. We're like practically out of ammo. We have no way of making more. Maybe we should just die. No, we get, we have to fucking find a way. We have the flamethrower. Let's just use the flamethrower. Uh. Yeah, things are a lot worse. Yeah, they're like everywhere. Nowhere safe except for this little van. <sighs> should we just book it to try to get upstairs? I mean, I could try to book it, but. They're still gonna get my ass. They're probably more upstairs. But like, where are the jokes? <laughs> the where ammo? Are the jokes? Okay, we need a plan so I can know where to go. Um. All right. We need to. So what we need to do? We need to run back into that room. Take the. So we come in. Yeah. Take the stairs that are on your left because there's a snake door at the top of those stairs. No, don't fucking get slow on me, bitch. Oh, I hear, I hear them. Yeah, right here. Ugh. Fuck, fuck. Ah, fuck! Okay. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh shit. Not nice. Okay. That one's gone. Oh, Do I just use one. it on this? Yeah. That's all we got. Alright, stop. Okay. Wait. Check in that drawer. Oh no. Oh, it's a fucking it's a fucking picture. Evelyn, May 2nd, 2014. Remember that. What? Uh, I think you need to press A on the door first. Woo! I also think there's a snake door down the hall over there, but let's go through here first. Grandma, grandma. what the fuck? Y'all want to help? Watch Grandma just be like also fucking crazy right now. Oh, don't we need a lock pick to open those? Oh, fuck yeah. Wait, no, just turn it around. Turn around. Oh, nice. <gasps> Not nice. Okay. Can you put it down and just like. 
with the flamethrower. Flamethrower. Yeah. Just a little tap. Nope. We gotta reach in. A. A. Black pick. Oh, I got it already. Yep. <sighs> Thank handgun ammo. Okay. Thank God the Lord. Thank God the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Okay, I think we need to set it to a specific time. What does that say? The same time as all other clocks. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. What's the time this, on the other clocks? This is a puzzle. Okay, so I guess we gotta go to the next room, right? Wait, no, can is there more stuff here? I feel like there's more stuff to explore. <gasps> oh. Oh shit. So the bed's gonna move and we're just gonna hop down. Yeah, we're gonna have to go. Good job, guys. I wish I had S. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, time turn. How to time turn today, girl? Us too. Same. The other door, this one, right? I don't think there's anything else here. I thought there was stuff in the thing. I mean, oh. this looks like there's oh. <gasps> backpack. We can carry yes! more items. Backpack, 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 backpack. It's eleven, eleven. No, it's not. Well, not for us. <gasps> oh, what this, is that? This looks like a better. Better, Ooh, I was like, "Who the fuck is that?" Treasure photo. It's a head with a cap. Okay. Should we take like the psycho stimulants and see if there's anything extra in here? Should we take it now? Okay, we got herb. Should we take it? Um, we did not take them with us. No, should we take it? Uh, let's see if there's. Well. Wait, turn around. I thought I saw something on the. Maybe not. Lame. Ha! I think we got everything in here. Yeah, let's take the herb. Cause any um. Any chemical fluid we find, we're going to use on the. All right. Where's the other snake door? I'll show you. All right. Am I going right down these stairs? No, you're going. You're staying on the side. Oh, we're just going on the. Okay. Okay. Go through that door. Okay. Walk down the hall. Jesus fucking Christ. Right there. Turns out grandma's in here too. Is grandma in here too? No. All right. She good. April, Th mommy took me <laughs> to the hospital in town. They took a photo of my head with a weird machine. Then mommy bought me a 259 piece puzzle from the toy store. April, St stupid Oliver keeps teasing me. You're a crazy head. April, Th I lied to Oliver. I told him to come over for my birthday party, then shut him in the attic from outside by remote <laughs> control. He kept crying, let me out, Lucas. April, Th I changed the remote control so stupid Zoe can't just go into the attic. I melted it with one of my inventor's contest trophies. Now she'll never find it. Oh my god. Cody is dressed up. Where's your mask? Oh. He's way he's he was uh go back to the beginning of the and he has his machete mm -hmm. over here. Yep. Uh but since we're playing, we gotta, you know, we gotta we gotta look at things. Ooh, shotgun shells. Fuck oh, yes. Yes, bitch. Good thinking. Go back for the drawer in front of Grandma after this. See, I thought I thought there was Got something it. else. Okay, no, no. you it's didn't okay. know it was there. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that sound. 
Psycho stimulants. No, supplements. Damn. Ooh. Fuck yeah, we're getting all the lockpicks. Oh, this must be it. Oh, <gasps> noise. We haven't seen Mia in a while, and I'm kind of guessing that we're going to see Mia soon. Like, possess Mia. April. <laughs> Oliver stopped his yelling, but sometimes I hear knocking from above. May. And it really stinks, and some weird juice is dripping from the ceiling. Anyway, oh, no. since I had time, I changed the remote control trophy again. Now it'll be shiny even at night. So that's the uh, lamp. Got it. Oh, oh we got girl. some herb. Can we get Nothing. some spoons? We could, we could, those are weapons. Oh. I'm surprised that no, no, like. Ooh. Down on the floor. No, to your right. You're on the right. You see it? Oh, bitch. Can I reload that one thing? Uh, yeah, try it. No. Okay. Should we go up here or should we go back to Grandma's thing? Um, I, see, I mean, let's go back to Grandma's because there might be stuff upstairs that we're like, that we don't want to deal with, you know? It's all quiet up here. I know. There's definitely like one of those creepy crawly things that... Oh, fuck yeah. herb. And let's see what this is. Ooh, he's kind of hot. April 1980. Jack joins the Marines. Okay. All right. Out of time. Let's see what's going to happen here. What's behind? Gilfie now said, can you duck under the desk in that room? Oh, I don't know. This I'm one. assuming this one. No. I don't think so. Now, Sergio, when shooting enemies, remember to be calm because erratic shooting leads to no ammo. I'm <laughs> calm. I was not expecting that spider thing to go. And that is a dear Sergio and Cody because I do the same thing. <gasps> Happy birthday. Wasn't there like a, a tape that we were needing? Oh, back in the um, back in the van. In the van. Oh. Not in the van, the trailer. Remember? I thought there was just a TV there. There's a TV, it's in the cassette player. Ooh, strong chemical fluid. Now, strong chemical fluid and gunpowder, does that make shotgun shells? I said shotgun shells next to grandma. Have we missed more stuff in grandma? What? Land? No way. HF, that's actually completely completely true. Sergio's the calmest he's ever been now that the insects are gone. Yes. I'd even flinch at the maggots that we just saw. So, I'm growing, guys. <laughs> it was close enough. <laughs> <gasps> oh, the little, the little thing. Mm -hmm. Alright. So we can take a key card. Mm -hmm. Judgment. A painting named Judgment. A pain, it depicts a woman kneeling in front of a mob. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Bump. I really expected there would be more, more loot up here. Oh wait, what's this? Renovation contract. Customer Jack Baker. Uh, contractor, Trevor and Chamberlain Construction. Construction period, November 10th, 1992, November 30th, 1992. Details, installation of a shadow-activated doorway in main bar. Welcome, Steffi. Welcome. All right, yeah. Uh, it's a model one, though. <laughs> Toy axe. I wonder if that's what we need to get the shotgun downstairs. <coughs> All right, what can we... Um, if we combine chem fluid and gunpowder, strong chem fluid and gunpowder, does that make shotgun shells? Good 
What's this? All right, I guess we'll find out. Enhanced handgun ammo. Oh, that's right. Do you want that? Upgrades. Yep. Do we have enhanced handgun ammo? Everyone's, or is wanted, this just everyone's wanted to get the shotgun. Yeah, I would like to get the shotgun also, but I'm trying to figure out like how can we combine things to make enough room in the inventory for the shotgun. Let's do this, right? Because then it'll get rid of that. Oh, no, because it needs if it's like, an, if it's yeah. enhanced handgun ammo. I thought we were going to have more things to carry. We already failed a go. <laughs> I mean, unless we just go all the way back to the van and pack away things and watch the tape and then come back for it. It says you can use the toy shotgun. No. Because we got a toy axe. How about we put away the toy axe, combine the fluid? No. We I need mean, one. We need just two, two spaces. Or we... Like, we leave behind the toy axe, at least for now and combine the chemical fluid that leaves two spaces for us to carry the shotgun. We bring it down, then we'll come back right up for the for the axe. Hold on, can I see this for a second? I just wanna see. Okay. I mean, so, ammo's good. So we will make enhanced handgun. Oh God, I almost okay. got makeup off. Oh God damn it. What? I thought that this, when I looked, that it was enhanced handgun ammo, but this oh, is regular no. handgun ammo. Oh, and we need an enhanced gun. Oh, I didn't know that. Sorry. So um, the treasure photo, if we look at it, we just need to remember. Oh, we can't leave anything. So we have to go back and drop it off. Let's just go back to, let's just go back to storage. Let's go back to storage. Okay. It's fine. We're going to go back. It's not like it's going anywhere. Oh, no. oh, that was a weird yeah. turn. There was a crocodile in the photo, right? Back when we went and when we explored the kids' room. What I the think so. fuck? I'm so confused. Sorry. I was like, where did I lead to? You don't need an enchanted gun. You can switch the ammo type you use. Yeah, I know that. I just thought that... The, That's downstairs, right? Yeah, I thought that the handgun ammo that was already in there was enhanced ca handgun ammo so we could combine it to make two slots into one. That's what I was thinking. So we can also turn left, just go right there and drop things off. We don't need to go the whole way outside. All right, what do we want to drop off? <laughs> um... I say supplements. Which ones? The these. Um, I feel like the toy axe we will need for something. Yeah, let's drop that off. Shouldn't we keep the toy? Is the toy axe something that we should keep? Do we just put away the enhanced handgun ammo? No, if anything, we should put away the regular handgun ammo. Because the enhanced handgun... No. This. Because the enhanced handgun ammo does more damage. Oh, so we can still use it. Yeah. Cool. You want to check the real... The treasure... Photo. Well, let's look at both of them that we have. We can always put them back. Where did it go? How do I? We should be able to select it. Well, when we're not in this screen. There was another treasure photo in there, though. Because this is the one we just saw. Tell me where this one? Uh, I think so. 
There's also one that was up there, but didn't we already see that one? Oh, that's right. Gofi says, have you guys gone into the bushes near the house outside? Well, Antonio says, there's a puzzle outside of the house hidden behind some bushes. That's where you need the axe. Oh. Do we want to just go outside and do that? Yes. Uh, should we take the psycho stimulants also to look at more things that are outside? Also, Nick. Nick. Thank you. Uh, Nick says, I'm done with your outfits. Please let us have. Thank you, Nick. We're at work. Uh, Freddie and Jason, if they were gay lovers, they're just having raw sex in the. They're having a grand old time. All right, let's take the psycho stimulants. I can't. Um. Oh, and my. Hold up, Nick. I have my thing here, but I can't play, um, with, with it on. I'll play with it later. Oh, what do you want? Antonio says the toilet is the one inside Zoe's trailer. Okay, so let's take the psycho stimulants with us. And since we're gonna go looking for stuff, let's put the herb away. And. But still go get the shotgun. Is that what you wanna do? Or just go back to the van, or back to the trailer? I feel like let's, let's go back to the trailer and then do the stuff outside. So let's take the toy axe with us. And then we can go, because. The shotgun, the broken shotgun, we still have to fix. We need the other uh, repair kit. We got this, we got this, we got this. Get the shotgun now, then go outside? Oh, wait, hold on. Yes, congratulations to Nick for winning the quiz. Yes. I mean, I knew he was going to win it, like, the whole time. But he did such an amazing job. He killed it. All right, so let's go upstairs, upstairs. Oh, we're Every not going to the van? Chat is telling us we need to go upstairs and get the shotgun first. So let's go upstairs first to Grandma's room because we, we, we keep missing things in there. I really doubt that we... Did we really miss anything? Oh, there's... Oh, yeah! Damn. We shit. We ain't shit. Chat's always coming in clutch. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. Wait, is it here? Yeah. Then we go up here. Chance just so showed up. What? What do you mean? I'm assuming you're talking means Chance did nothing but show up to the stream, to to the quiz. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no i honestly thought he had it in the bag i thought he had i thought it was like chance it's chance's house of horrors and he's gonna know shit and for those of you who don't know what we're talking oh. about the horror hour has been hosting um some Ugh. of uh, us and some of our other favorite uh reactor friends to a horror themed quiz show. Mm -hmm. I did not participate because I didn't think I would know anything. Watching this, watching today's, which you Sergio said you was felt on, conf confident I, about it. I felt confident up until like five questions in. And then I was like, shit, I truly don't actually know anything. Oh, okay. Where am I going now? Right here. So go through here. Um, we need to go downstairs and swap out the shotgun. We should also at some point find a grandfather clock to figure out what the time is supposed to be. All right. Motherfucker! Oh yeah, we do. We need a space. We need space for it. God damn it. All right, let's get rid of this ax thing. Let's just do the ax thing. Okay, we should go back to storage then and put the um, There's a toy shotgun in, away. In the van, we can, we can yep. put that in. Run, 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 run. I hear, I hear the motherfucker. Okay. All right, so we put the toy shotgun away. Should we put the blue card away for now? Just to save oh, more room. We... Oh, should we do the VHS tape? All right, we're doing the VHS tape. We're doing it. Ashley Haynes said, oh my god, I made a stream. Hi, Sergio and Cody. Hello. Hi. 
Check the toilet while you're here. We will. Oh, yeah, we do. Right, experiment. Can trespassing oh, idiots you solve you puzzles? Friend. You are one lucky son of a bitch. What? Why do you... you know what? what? I actually envy you. Do you want to play this one? What? Sure. You don't believe me? <laughs> this short? Well, you can't fake this. Okay. Is he hot or not? Do we, do we know? What's the consensus? He looks like he's on multiple different types of amphetamines at the same time. But maybe he can break your back. Maybe he's good. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. I will be like that, girl. Okay. Just you wait. All right. Maybe. Just oh, you who's wait. This? Too much of air. This was the worst in VR. Oh, no. He literally looks like my grinder hookups. He looks like the top who, like, has the mattress on the floor, has a bunch of dirty laundry everywhere, but then you still fuck. Okay. You know? Is it just me? Okay. Who is that? Is that a child? Or is it just like a glooby glob? Oh, no. That is a, is like a, a clown. clown. And he'd call me a slut. And I'd be like, yes, I am. Jacob Duffield, we needed the emotional support of the Harbor. Yes. We're here. We're here. We're queer. here. We're queer. We think of the same things at the same time. The only thing is that we can't solve your emotional problems so no, kidding we we cannot unfortunately too much of it oh yeah i've been with that guy before <laughs> uh, listen i'm obviously in a much better headspace now i don't need to worry about that what hello do i just like stick it in that's a i'm like <laughs> is that is that gas this is not good right oh no there's TVs. There's balloons. Is this like one of those like you need to solve the puzzle to get out things? Because I, I I do love this. This is What's locked. That? Can you like? How do I interact with things? No, you can't do anything with that. You can't do anything with that. Otherwise, I will tell you. Oh. Oh my okay. God! Happy fucking birthday! Got a light. The game, I'd really like to make it out of this room alive. Oh. And there's a saw a trap. Horrible, oh my God! It's a temp title. Take a candle, light it, and put it on the cake. And remember to smile. This party is for you. <laughs> Fuck you! There's a saw trap. There's a saw trap. I don't give a shit what Lucas said. You need to light the candle, girl. Would you light my candle? No. I said, would you light? No. Oh, oh, oh. Got a light. Okay. Oh, they're like animals. No, they're different figurines. Go, let's do some exploring. You're like. Hmm. No. This is the process. You gotta trust the process. No, you're in one room. Maybe we turn on the stove? Maybe. Oh, hold on. There's no point in using that here. Okay. That's the whole family. Kay. They all look so happy. Was daddy the, oh no, that was the clown. They kept the clown and they fucking obliterated him. Oh no. Here, how do you get there? Hmm. Let's look, let's look. It seems so quiet. I wish this movie had a score. This movie, this game. No water coming out. Maybe we do have to do something with the toilet. Oh. Oh, hey. Ah, oh, fucking disgusting. Oh. This is a saw trap. 
Oh god, what do you think it's in there? What is that? A dirty telescope. What the fuck? Oh hey. What's that over there? Okay. So What are you doing? Well I was getting a prompt to say what is why? Ugh. Oh, look into there, maybe? Hmm. Where am I looking at? I thought you have to look through this telescope to look through here. To look at that yeah but maybe i need to clean the telescope first no i don't know that doesn't fit okay first guess you can't interact I think you need to use it on the other guy, on the clown. Yeah, but I I can't see anything through it. Let me see. Can, you, can I try? Yeah, I. I oh, maybe this isn't the guy, the clown. All right. Well, we at least figured out where the winding key goes. Well, we wind some wind it up. All right. So we do still just as a reminder guys, we do still want to try to figure this out on our own. Although we appreciate the hints, we will ask for them I'm sure before the end of this. All right, so what is this? It won't stop coming out. That is what she said. Because I was trying to see, like, can I use that water to clean the telescope? But I don't think so. The other thing that I was thinking is, um, no, turn around. See where it says, like, no, no, like, through those things? Where it says here? Is that where we need to, like, look through the telescope? I can see a little bit of it. Jeez, I don't even know I was looking through there. What if we look what if we look through the telescope and walk through the water as we're looking through the telescope? Oh, maybe. All right. Cuz it won't let you select it when you're in the water. Oh. Maybe. Ah, <gasps> told you. I knew but, we needed But to now where, where do we look? Uh Let's try looking at that that spot again. No, like through the other thingy. Or we could try looking at the TV. <gasps> yes! Oh, okay. Stop. Oh, wait. Can you memorize that? Yeah. So uh, look around a little bit. I just want to make... No, like uh, on that thing, because I want to try to see... All right. Uh, fetus is last. Looks like... Hanging person. Hanging person. And bird, bird on... Bird on head. A bird on head. And look... Look at that again. I just want to see. Okay, yeah, it is just for that puzzle. All right. Okay, so now we turn back over. Okay. So move it down. There we go. Yep. Then bird on head. 
And then, yeah. Straw doll. doll. Do we, we use the straw doll on that? Yeah. It's hard to the touch. Hmm. Oh, do you think um, we put it in the hand of the clown? Oh, maybe. No. Oh, it doesn't fit. Other thing that I can think of is this. No. That won't cut it. Do we use the water on the doll also? If it's hard to the touch? Wait. Oh shit. Then can we use the stove? Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Dummy, Dummy finger. finger. That might be what we need for the clown. Oh yeah, because he's missing a finger. Okay, we gave him back to him. Oh, yeah, let's pull, pull it up a little bit. There we go. So what do you think that did? Well, did we add the finger to him? Oh, we did, I think. Hold on. Oh, no. No, we didn't. I think that we we need him to like write on some paper or something. Oh, you think so? Oh, what can we light the light oh. the candle on the stove? Okay. Yeah. Take it over to the gas. It's gonna maybe. Okay, never mind. But it's going to. But could we use it to cut the rope? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. Here. Yes. Oh. There's a lot of. The All right. What can we do with the balloons? Do we need to pop them all? Okay, yeah. There's specifically one balloon over here that it keeps. Balloon. Oh, the gas. Right? Yeah. Well, why didn't I couldn't move back? I couldn't move back. Oh! Oh shit! That's what we need for the clown, though, because he's writing something. He probably writes the password for the door. Fuck yes. No, 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 you're good, you're good. Oh, no, he's going to write on our arm. Oh, no! Oh, man! Oh! Loser? This is just the clown insulting you us. You fucking asshole. Oh, check arm. All right, yeah, let's change this to loser. Well, I feel like we're still gonna lose. This is like an Amanda trap. Ooh, a valve handle. 
That's going to turn off the water to the shower. And then we have to relight it, probably. And then we have to relight it and walk through. Where is it again? Here? Oh, it's through here. Can I turn it left? No, the other way. Yeah, valve handle. Okay, now we turn it. Honestly, I think that this puzzle was like, like, good. Yeah. It it, it took a while to to get us there. I love like especially games like these. I have like to do like one thing like point and click room escape games. Oh shit! Oh, the wine. Oh no! Get up, girl, get up! Stop, trap, and roll. Just roll somewhere else. Can you turn on the water? Turn on the water. Where's the water? Left. Right, right around, right around the corner there. Yeah. I can't do it. Oh, man. It was giving us a prompt. I thought it did give us a prompt. Oh, man. Were we meant to die, guys? Happy birthday. Damn. All right. Do you mind? Go. Yeah. No, I mean, I know I don't mind. Sorry. Ooh. Toilet. Yeah, I just got it. Oh, what was in there? Sorry. I... It was, um, I think... Um, ammo for like the tricked out gun. <coughs> also, guys, we have less than a hundred subscribers left to reach 30k subscribers, which is kind of crazy. We did not reach and think we'd reach this point, but it's awesome. We might be able to get to 30k by Halloween. So, we still want to go outside and Go into the bushes to we do need the toy to do the hack, the, yeah. So should we put We can put this away Should we put the blue card away I'm just thinking like we want to make as much room In our inventory for, for the shotgun What is that Oh that's for the door I get it Yeah Got it Alright so we don't have the The fancy gun for this yet Okay. Did you fucking waste our ammo? Imagine it's just like shoot, 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 ah, shoot, shoot. Fuck you all. So where do we go? Where do we fucking hit? Are the bushes over here. Is it just wind? Jacob, we have used our coins. We have before. Welcome to my life. It's really thick bushes. Are we getting warm or cold? How about that? That's probably not back here. We're cold. Oh God, we're out here too long. Well, we already went through there. Maybe it's on the other side. Oh, what's that? What's that? That board. 
Oh. Ooh. One three nine. One three five seven nine. One three five seven nine. Oh. But what's that for? It probably opens that treasure box. Oh. Ah. Ooh, we got a stabilizer. Nice. Noise. Oh, give me the good stuff. Give me the fucking good stuff. Yeah. Cool. Reload your speed. Your reload speed is increased. Cool, Thank. Cool. Thank the Lord. I guess we want to do the the shotgun stuff. Well, because wasn't there something down here that we that we didn't get? Or am I making that up? I think we're making that up. Let's go back. We I want to do the okay. other stuff. All right, let's do the other stuff. Shocking time. <coughs> Oops, girl. Oh, there might be a snake door down there. Oh, this back in the other area. Yeah, I think there was, but let's get the shotgun. Run, 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 run. But also, is, is there a, there's a clock down here? What does the time say? 10.15, okay. After this, do you want to go exploring in the other place for the door? Or you want to keep moving on with the... I want to... I always like moving on with the story, but... To you. Wait, no, we took the gun. We took the gun. Where is it? In our inventory. I think it's in storage. I think we oh, left behind. Shit. Remember, because there was no... You're right. Just did a stupid. Luna says, what happened to Cody's glasses? Um, so Cody Zero broke No, them. no. Cody um, is wearing a Jason mask before, so he uses he's using his contact lenses for today. Which he might have to do next week, too. Hell fucking yeah! Did it. So now this one is broken, though, right? So we, we need to fix it? it first. Where do we fix things again? Um, there was a... Repair kit that we got. That oh, we yeah. Used to make the M19 handgun. So, how do we go? Sorry. How do we get another one? I'm assuming that we will get it through the story, right? Okay. I'm hoping. Well, because that's what Chad said last week. Okay. You want to keep going? Where do, where do, what's our next step? So, we're going back upstairs. We're going to go back upstairs through the snake door in Grandma's room and set the clock time. I don't know how time works. Uh, just keep going in that direction. Yeah. Oh, hello. Are we good? Do we need... Oh, should, should we put the broken shotgun away before we go down there? 
Mm, yeah, because I guess we don't need it right now. Man, Resident Evil truly like makes you work for everything. Like yeah. you gotta work for survival. Anything that we need? I mean, we could put the psycho stimulants back or keep them either one, but I don't think we need much else right now. Did we have any extra medical stuff? The soundtrack keeps making me think that it's cuffing season and all the boys you need and I want a big boy, I want a big boy, I want a big boy. I don't know, I agree with you. It does sound like that. Right. Jacob says, Cody will absolutely love uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake just yeah. for the puzzles alone, but your inventory management has to be on point. Oh, oh well, shit. There's no we're stuck back. here. Fellas. We are here. It's nothing season. I'm just walking down this street. This fucking maze of a house. All right, let's get to it. Let's get it started. And ha, let's get there's spider webs. I cannot I like. believe the other version of that song ever existed. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, this is gross. Oh my, oh my god. All right. Oh, there's the red key card. Okay, we're good. Well, we, now we got to keep going cuz we're trapped. Oh, yeah, let's open that. Uh, Ooh. This is a fucking saw warehouse. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Oh. Oh, this is that other drawer that I was like, oh, why isn't this unlocked yet? Oh, okay. So this is our other way back, so we can go out, which means. How do I get back up? That way. Turn right. Yep, I hear. Yep. Shit, 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 shit. No, bitch. Oh, oh fuck. Shit. Oh, I died. Oh, when did we last save? I feel like it's been a little while. Oh, shit. Probably when I was in the trailer. Fuck. All right, do you want to do the whole thing that we missed? <laughs> fuck. I forgot we didn't save. And then we should probably call it quits soon. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's some auto saves. Thank God. Shotgun does work better. Come here, bitch. What is separate ways, guys? Oh, it's the DLC for Resident Evil 4? It's also a Journey song. Can you sing it right now? I just it. Oh, God, I probably could, but I can't think of the words. We're like, we're just going to casually just get in here right now. Excuse us. 
Uh, do we want to call the night, or do we want to put the cards in and let's put the cards in and get get that far go at for least. The fight. Okay. Let's get that far. because we get copyright claim for this. Do it. Do it. Hey, buddy. Remember, those two key cards will get you into the party. Don't be late now. Let me talk to Mia. No, no, no. You gotta show up first. Mm -hmm. You haven't forgotten where the party is, have you? You can get in from the courtyard. So come on, man. Everybody's waiting for you. Oh my god. Oh. oh, you didn't reload. No, you don't have you have to reload. Oh come on. Okay, go, 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 go. We got some some whatever that's called. All right, let's go. Did you reload? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Come on. Okay, usually two gets them, apparently. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. There's like a club. There's like the fucking like where everyone's fucking pop locking. <gasps> oh, what is that? Oh, so we got a highlighter party going up in here. I know. I love it. Let's play. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna have a chip. Oh, fuck. I don't wanna. Can I do something with the TV? That's what I was looking at. Oh, there we go. Jacob, you were eating you know bunions? Oh my god. That's so funny. You know what Zoe wants to do with this? <laughs> oh, she thinks this thing is special. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Cubby holes, it's Doritos no, nacho cheese. But I usually like the spicy nacho cheese. This, this right here is special. Oh, dude, no. See, no, no. Oh. oh. Everybody wants to turn back. Oh, this is Nail Gore. Oh, what? this is Nail Gore. Nail what? Gore. Evelyn? I'm just trying to show him. I'm just trying to show him that everybody wants to go back to how things were. So he's a stupid bitch. She doesn't understand that I don't want to go back to how things were before my father found y'all. Now everybody oh, wants to turn back the clock. So, so Ethan. 
<clears throat> Ethan? You can, uh, <laughs> you can, um, crawl around underneath that filthy, rotten house all you want looking for them ingredients, but you ain't gonna find a goddamn thing, Ethan. You will make that serum? Ooh, baby. <laughs> You're gonna have to come through me. You hear? Oh, God. We're gonna have to fucking... Oh, come on, Ethan. Is he also, like, immortal? What do you say? <laughs> oh, shit. Bro. Fuck. Oh, oh look. There's a way out. Are we in a different part of the house or a different house? The scary music is kind of living. Look at the red light. Oh. We probably should have used the shotgun. These are like uh, the Last of Us rules. We're hurt badly. We have nothing. No, we have the the, the little thing. saying use the pistol to like aim at it yeah but i don't have to use any uh ammo at all if i just tuck under it the treasure area oh yeah repair again oh yes so happy phoenix rising i'm wearing my horror bandwagon shirt while watching you guys it's a vibe Aww. i love the merch oh thank you so much for rocking it if you do post a picture on instagram or anywhere tag us i would love to see it so glad that you got it oh, oh. All right, I thought I could sneak under it. I was wrong. I didn't even help that much. Nope. It was like, eh, just a little bit, girl. Not too much. Ah. What's in it? First aid kit. I love it. All better. Reload? Can you reload? Oh. Um. <coughs> no. Are all guns reloaded? Oh, fuck. He's fucking diabolical. Yep. He's messing with us. He's messing with Cody. Right, everything gets shot. I wouldn't go that far. Well, those just stairs to get out. Oh, shit. Oh, but how do you do that? Oh, oh they're double. How do you get that one? I guess that one you can go underneath. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, is there all a right. save here too? Shotgun time. 
Let's repair that shit. Nice. Here we go. All right. So we want to put the other gun, the other. Yeah, I hope we get the same ammo. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Damn. I truly, can only do two shots at a time, but. Ah. What's the password? I know. Fucking password, right? Mm, why don't you try 0814? No! 0621. No, 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 it's 0514. How about I just take this shotgun oh, through the bars and shoot Up your ass. Up your ass. I forgot what you said. It's me too. 0621? Yep. What did he say, guys? What did he say? We missed it. 4377. Man, this dude sucks. What? He's a trickster. He's a little fucking trickster. Where did we go from? Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's save here, right? Can we save from here? If we like end it here, can we go back to that same spot, to this spot? Or we have to go to the last actual save. I guess we let's just find another save point then. Cause I don't I don't trust it. Yeah, I just feel like it might be a while till we Yeah, I was seeing if it was still there. Oh. Wow wow wee wow woo! You have got a good Okay. I know. Fucking password, right? Wowie wow. Mm, why don't you try 0814? No! 06. Two one. No, 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 it's zero five one four. Oh, come on, take a chance, you never know. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. God. I tried the four three seven seven. I thought Jacob said that that was just a joke. Oh, never mind. Oh, it, yeah. No, it was zero eight one. I need to find a password. Look around. How lucky we are to be alive right now. <gasps> what? Kind of like rewarded us with a, with a door opening. I was so far away from it. We're doomed, guys.
bomb. I just won't. Yep. Jesus. Fuck yeah. Was the, are Jacob. We shotgun shells again? Mm, Jacob, um, I want to say it took me like less than four hours. No, not four hours. Oh, because I was taking my time. I was like, I had dinner. So I want to say realistically like an hour and a half because it was my first time doing the makeup and it was also the first time I was working with latex, with liquid latex. So this is like brand new to me. Um, oh, God damn it. The, the live stream for the members only live stream um, is gonna be a lot more complicated. So that's why I wanted to practice first. So expect a long live that night because I'm gonna probably mess up a lot. Or I feel like you're too close. What the fuck? We're gonna die. I looked for these. <laughs> you just... Okay. Because, oh my god, I wish to only be so dainty and quiet when I eat. Well, because I don't like. Sometimes people on live when they eat, people get grossed out by people eating. So I kind of want to like make it as minimal as possible. Nice. Any health? Oh yeah, I got a, um, I got a thing of steroids. So our max health increased and I think it healed us entirely. Oh uh, good. That. All right. Yo, this, this game needs like a save, like an actual save. I know. Like you were going too far into this. This is because this was my concern. Is like this is gonna be a whole big map. Well, thing. I figured that they would give us like. It... Check behind you. Okay. I think it just, yeah, it just gave us full health right now. What the fuck? How many fucking shots does this thing need to die? Well, because the, the, that gun takes a while. You bitch. Caitlin says, are you doing FX for Halloween on both both of you, Sergio? Well, Cody doesn't really like a lot of stuff on his face. So I have horrible skin. Cody, no, you have glorious skin. Uh, your glorious stuff on. Um, but um, I will be doing some makeup for him for that. Um, I have a bunch of products, so uh, we have some ideas down the line. Yeah, Gilfie and Jacob, I, I thought that I had accidentally had the regular handgun ammo on, and so I switched it, and then it turns out I actually had the enhanced on, and I oh. switched into the regular handgun ammo, so that's frustrating because I wanted to save the regular handgun ammo for disarming traps. Nice. Chastity to Remake says, hey, finally making a stream. Well, welcome. It's okay. We are on the next time we see a save 
we are going to probably end it there but feel free to go back and watch our playthrough and our watching of spooky stories um, earlier hoping this is a safe looks like it oh yep there we go <sighs> oh my god all right y'all all right remask we're gonna remask oh okay Yeah, we're coming out of fight. We're going to end it here. As you know, um, Cody has to get up really early. Very, um, very, very early. Um, Daizari's Cody will be back by Sunday, right? By yeah, the Sunday I will be. I will be coming back actually Thursday evening. So I'll be back in time to uh, bring y'all Chucky <coughs> basically on time this week. Let me just get some music pumping. All right, guys. Woo! We are so happy that we be, could be able to do some costumes. Let me put my glove back on. Hello! Um, as usual, we hope that you had a great time. We love doing these for you guys, so this is fucking amazing. Yeah. I always love talking to you guys in the chat. Um, we're doing some special things like this dressing up for Halloween spooky season. So we're definitely going all out for that. Uh, next week, we are doing another costume. Um, and I, what kind of what kind of hint can we give them? I don't even remember what we were going to do next oh week. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so um, please join us next week. For a scary streaming Sunday. Um, members, we love you. Patreon members, we love you as well. Um, Patreon, you're getting a ton of watch alongs coming up this week. Mm -hmm. um, YouTube memberships, you're getting an additional live stream um, on probably Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. We'll put a poll up in, in the on soon. You guys choose when we would go live, um, and you'll see me practice for one of the one of the upcoming costumes. Dan says you guys are the best. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody in the chat. Night, also, say good night to Bourbon. Um, give him some uh, virtual pets by showing his emote in the chat. Jacob says, always love the streams. Have a good night and stay spooky. You have a good night, Jacob and Jay. Thank you so much for have joining us night, again. Guys. We always love seeing you. We have Totally Killer. Our reaction is out now. Go show it some love. Give it a comment. Um, we would really appreciate it, but also expect VHS 85 to be dropping off this week. Um, we have also another announcement, but we're going to save that until later. Uh, but we do have another movie coming out on Sunday as a reaction. And thirdly, 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 and thirdly, Friday the 13th is coming up Jason's day. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a stream that we're going to do with some of our Texas Chainsaw Massacre friends, where our other YouTube reactor pals are going to be on there. Um, so expect that sometime on Friday the 13th, where we're going to play Friday the 13th, the game. Yeah. Um, yes, everyone wish Cody a safe trip. He is going to need it. He's got, he has, it's all for work, so it's mm -hmm. probably not fun. <laughs> but everything is paid for. So yes! that's the important thing. Anyways. We have been your boys for hard analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. Bye, everyone. <laughs> oh, you have to press it. Ah!